buddy. All right, here we go. We're recording now. And again, uh, welcome. Here are our reviewers, <laughs> Nick, Mitch, <laughs> Diane, and Mina. And we just uh, started with our portfolio reviews. And next up, we have uh, Sarah Barnes from the University of South Alabama. There we go. Ooh. There she is. Yay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and unmute Sarah. So you guys yeah. can unmute her. Yeah. At uh, this portfolio. And um, Sarah, you're here, right? Yeah. And if I forget to unmute you, uh, you guys have the capability to unmute yourselves. I'm kind of putting the trust out there. So um, <laughs> feel free to. Uh -oh. uh, yeah. That's your first problem there. <laughs> I know, right? It's the first of many mistakes, yeah. probably, I'll make today. Right. Sarah, can you hear us? Yep, there she is. Yeah. Nice. Are you looking to go branding, uh, logo design, packaging? Is that your is that your expertise you want to go for? Branding is my favorite. Um, I like to bring brands to life. Cool. Um, so yeah, that is one of my focuses. I do want to work in a firm. Um, I'd like to move to Nashville. <laughs> I'll, I'll follow it's a you. Good city. It's a good city. It's fun. That that's fun. strong. That's yeah. super strong. That looks I, really great. Yeah, when you brought that brand to life with, I I love when students take advantage of bringing in the backgrounds and the uh, unique custom patterns to brands. Uh, mm -hmm. Logo slapping starts to look a little bit, you know, boom, boom, boom. But when you change it up and you put some copy, look at brands that do things like this, and they put great lifestyle copy and things on there other than just the logo. Mm -hmm. uh, that that makes these projects sing a hundred percent, and cr and get these crop bigger. Like you have some great stuff. Yeah. I'd love to see more, um, more big and like focused. So uh, take advantage of that space specifically now that we're doing video uh, portfolio reviews a lot over the next few months. Um, I want to see those huge. Get them big. Looks great. Yeah, hard to agree. I was going to say the same thing. I want to see these much bigger. Because mm -hmm. they look really good. And don't be afraid. I mean, if it means having to do a little craftsmanship work changes, we all we're all there <laughs> when our yeah. work gets a little bit more close up. Like um, these milk labels, there's I'm seeing some sort of errors. Just you know, it'll take you mm -hmm. ten seconds to fix it. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Yep. yep. So this is a question out cool. to the panel. How how do you guys feel about the uh, the blurbs on the portfolios, and when is when is it too much or too little? I gotta be honest with you, they, they are taking up a lot of the real estate that the imagery, as has already been stated by the panel, um, could be larger. So if the text is taking up that much real estate on this uh, artboard and your imagery could get larger, I wonder if the blurbs could get shorter. I gotta be honest also, I'm not, I'm not reading all, I'm, I'm going through these very quickly with yeah. everyone else. So I'm not really reading them. If there were a couple things that you wanted to highlight, that's fine. But um, maybe one to two sentences if you had to have yeah. them. Yeah, I would agree. I also I always, think if you're going to be there, you don't need the blurb at all. If you're going to be there presenting, exactly. um, I would keep those off. And so really everybody's going to have multiple portfolios for everything. And I would go to a 1920 by 1080 is a screen size is what I would go. That's a 16 by nine or mm -hmm. 16 colon nine, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 16 <Pretty> nine <laughs> ratio. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm not a yeah, math This looks whiz. like four by three. Which but you know, the, it's so easy to have, like Diane said, the multiple versions. So you have your one that's in person and you have your one that's presented live digital. And for these, you can maybe just have bullet points. You can might even just have, I even tell students, have one or two things in there that are bolded and strong. And those are your cues for what to talk about. So it gives you almost like cliff notes as you're presenting and it kind of lessens the, the, you know, the nerves sometimes too as well. Mina, what would you say? Cause you're such a great illustrator. So she did all these illustrations for I this. So like I pull those out. To bring that up. Yeah. Um, Sarah, you've got, a, you've, you've got a, a, a knack for narrative. Um, I'm seeing some, little eeks out of these that have um that, that are have these joyful illustrations that are trying to also bring these brands to life as you say and tell the story of that brand um i think these are lovely the idea that you're using the same um what i'm seeing is the same uh weight of stroke and the same sort of 
style of stroke for all of these illustrations in this patterning is really nice. Yeah. Um, I think you've got another few illustrations that are just so darling and that are working really well. I, if we go back to that cup of coffee one on the, um, on the outdoor ad, uh, that was, that was really nice. It sort of gave, um, yeah, here, <laughs> the bus like, stop. No, no whammies. No whammies. Yes. Let's settle down. Come on. But that but that illustration of the coffee mug is, is so nice. It breaks up that rigidity uh, and even some of the swooshiness of, of the text um, and the rigidity of the grid. It just sort of breaks it up and makes it feel really soft. And that's a really mm -hmm. nice touch. I think um something I would mention, and this is like annoying graphic design kind of BS stuff, but to me the font is really not the font of the, the blurbs is kind of it's so generic and dead. I assume it's Helvetica. It's just kind of, it's Sitting dead. There. It makes it a little yeah. dead. It doesn't have to be something goofy, but I think something with some sort of personality that isn't kind of generic, you know, yeah. Swiss white man might be worth kind of thinking about. <laughs> if you go back to your one with the uh, coffee mug again, or the coffee in the poster, yeah. Like that relax and enjoy thing. I'm going to go granular. Like get really good and look at other folks that are doing fantastic typography. I would say that ampersand can be a little bit smaller and you can get that relax and enjoy a, to be a little bit more clear. Um, mm -hmm. that, and boy, that centered in there will look, that's your headline, it'll look really, really strong. I think yeah. we all are learning yeah. and, get, and grow with this stuff as we work on each project. So it's those little fine tuning things 100%, you know? Can you stay on this one real quick? I know she's my student, but I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah, you know what I would do? I would get right up in your face because a, a cup of coffee and with a good book, I just think mm -hmm. you're, it has, the illustration is is really, really cute and fun, but then the, the type in there, I just feel like, you know, you could have people, it doesn't have to all be read at the same viewing distance, you know, draw people in. Yeah. So have the type smaller there and so that it's not so close and cropped so tight to that illustration. Yeah. And we're getting so used to reading things on like, that'd be a great badge. You could do a cup of coffee on an arc at the bottom and with a good book, you know, below it in an arc or something like, you know, like almost badge style. It's really yep. nice. Yeah. Awesome. Looks great. And Sarah, I love do you your... have any questions for the panel? Oh yeah, go ahead. We have two minutes left. Um, I know that a lot of y'all like the Four Eyed Coffee Bean project. Do y'all think that that should be at the beginning of my portfolio? Good question. If that's Ooh. the kind of work that you want to be doing, yes. Okay. I would agree with that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank that you so great. much, Sarah. Thank you. Her Hi, Sarah. Good luck. All right. So those of you who are joining in that are in my class know that we do PKs in our, in my, in my school. And I have the, um, the PDF set up for 20 seconds of peace. That's why they were kept moving. I have, I kept having to go back. So what's a PK? At your at your your oh, I thought you meant preacher's kid. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Uh, let me turn that off. Have and, you shared uh, your, have you shared your Pecha Kucha? online somewhere i'd love to i've always been wanting to bring it into class and i'm a little scared no but, but my colleague chad cameron's on this call as well he's listening in so chad and right. i will uh, reach out to you and, and uh, maybe we don't film them or we did uh, this summer we'll talk about it later uh, but yeah we'll, we'll fill you in all right so uh the uh our, the next speaker that we have going on is actually one of mine he is coming from the university of central florida he is, his name is ryan Pesh. so ryan why don't you go ahead and uh unmute yourself and we're going to get started um good morning good afternoon hey, hey, what's up, up ryan <laughs> good morning ryan all right so here you go nice a rebrand i'm assuming yes good okay cool they need it no i'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> And we're live. <laughs> oh, that's great. We're really good. I love the way it's getting obscured by the lamps and stuff. It looks mm -hmm. real. Oh, good. A, a little dimension work there? Yep. Yeah. Good. That's the secret weapon, guys. 100%. And by that, you mean Adobe Dimensions, Nick? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Shout out to our sponsors. Yes. Okay. That's great. Nice, man.
There's that blade sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've actually seen the, some top agencies this, use this, some of these. Same I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, funny. This to me is getting just application of logo. So you could kill all but like one of these, I think, for for me, because it's just showing that you know how to use a a, mm -hmm. a mock up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so these are uh, these are. I'm sorry. These are, These very, are like event posters, okay. event shirts, event posters, things like that. Gotcha. Great. What's your goal, Ryan? Where do you want to be? Um, an ad agency. I mean, ultimately, like a creative or art director, depending on which they call the higher title. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. In Orlando, or do you want to move? Um, right now, Orlando, um, possibly to the West Coast, but right now, I'll stay in Orlando. Cool. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Right. You did all these illustrations, I assume. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's, that's that's all physical packaging for this one. Thanks. What do you what do you guys the reviewers think about when you have a page like this to have just a few bullet points, maybe saying art direction, typography, photography, like maybe at the front of the case study. I always love seeing when a student tells me right off the bat, I'm responsible for this. Like, then you don't have to ask. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would buy yeah. that. That seems reasonable. Yeah. Yep. But this is good, too. I think you have a very good degree and variety of everything from edgy to cute you know to established with the Folgers and everything so there's a for me this feels like there's a good you'd be um I can throw a task to you and I think you'd probably get it you know yeah I I would agree with that um the only thing I'm um, if I get really nitpicky about this which I think that's why you're here mm -hmm. um <laughs> if I get really nitpicky about this um in terms of these illustrations here uh the contrast, if you could go back just to just that one um, uh, pick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see it all again. The mm. the contrast on these, yeah, um, could be a little bit better for the logo and or the logo type. And the reason that I say that, if you if you look in to say the one with the the head, the decapitation, right? I love my job, by the way, that I get to talk about that. Um, <laughs> the you might want to knock out the the um, the logo on that particular one, right? Because we can't really see on the can, black right? Light it right on the can. Yeah. Yes, so on that, that center can. Yeah, it, and and on the one on the on the far right on the center um, design. So yep. yeah, there here, and and if you can can just think a little bit um, in terms of your um, you know the people who are going to be buying this. Um, they are going to range in age and range in vision ability. Uh, so if you could just think about that um, as you are creating uh, the, the contrast in these mm -hmm. illustrations, just specifically to make the, the logo very legible. I think somebody who does this really well um, for Against the Grain Brewing uh, in Louisville, Kentucky is Robbie Davis. Um, he does a really good job of this, so shout out to Robbie Davis. Uh, but if you wanted to take a look at his stuff, I think he might be also up your alley as inspiration if you haven't seen him before. Yeah, and a, a lot of people do talk in the craft brew, brewing kind of packaging branding world. Uh, the first thing a consumer wants to know is what kind of beer it is. So make sure it's very clear on there too. And I think like you had said, um, the overall background color for each can could be something slightly different. So from afar, I know those are three different varieties right off the bat. And you're right, mm -hmm. the brand reversing it out maybe could really, really help to kind of um, put that together. Um, maybe even a brand, some brand architecture that keeps it like 10% of it is consistent and the other 90% changes and, and makes something totally different per variety of beer. So I'm going to have one other comment on this one. So to me, you have two skulls and then you have the thing that doesn't fit. So it's the guy whose head is de getting decapitated. I would mm -hmm. love for you to give me another three beers so that I can see how it's not always skulls. It's all, I want to see a full six pack or a full 10 pack or, or 12. Do you know what I mean? Where if you're yeah. showing me different, I think that then that way I'm not like, oh, well, he couldn't think of another skull. Mm. you know like i i always i always love those games like which one doesn't fit and that to me the the way you drew the blue head is different the style mm -hmm. to me and so i want to see one of the things i love and i really push my students to do is i want to see that you can work in a series because if, okay. if it's like the yeah. you know the commercials mm -hmm. with mayhem man those are there's over a hundred uh, i mean like 150 different mayhem commercials 
you know they didn't come up with all those at once, right? But they have this list and they just keep coming back to it. But they have to, I want to know that I could just keep coming to you with more and more ideas and you could keep solving it for me for this brewery. Like a future proofing plan at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Can we go back yeah. to the second set of branding? Sure. The one with like the dog head. And one question that, <laughs> that um, I might have, he won an Addy for this. How important is this to put this kind of thing into your uh, student portfolios, these accolades? But it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think it's, you, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I certainly, I think, you know, you deserve it. So yeah. You, yeah. you won an Addy for it. Um, okay. I think for me, the Chihuahua stuff is kind of the least interesting thing here. Um, I would certainly He's, not say it's bad by any stretch. It's just kind of like, okay. Like again, not right. to, you know, I'm not belittling yeah. it, but it's, it's, I would call it fine. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's, you, you could, you could definitely shorter. enhance it. You could take what you have and expand more the same way you have with Folgers and the craft beer yeah, by I doing agree. like maybe adding some of your illustration as a good contrast to this very clean and modern logo. Um, show it in applications at like an event and do the tent and the banners showing uh, you know maybe one or two more things that have some more dimension to it because okay. i think uh you had mentioned earlier diane that the, just the logo slapping of it seems very um you know boom 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 yeah. change it up a little bit you know so can you go back to the last folgers one i think your type is funky no not that one keep going <laughs> that one medium roast can you go back to the one before where it's a to go look at your type for fold uh, i'm sorry which one? <laughs> this one? That one. Look, it's all caps, food to enjoy. Oh, and now condensed. go back to medium roast. It's a condensed it's, cap. It's a, yeah. So, but it's all caps, right? And so this looks, and it, I'm so ticky. It is not, not vertically center. centered. It's not centered. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, it's not. so, but I want you to be consistent. So you've yeah. already mm -hmm. set the stage. You can work, you know, in yeah. that series. So again, I'm a pattern seer. So other people who are, you're going to interview with, they're also going to see that, that ability mm -hmm. for, for patterning. And that's like, I mean, this is a great series. You do use application of logo. I would love to see that can the mug or whatever. I don't drink coffee that, that, thing that you put the coffee in instead of just the application of logo i'd love to see a quote there you know yep. think about other things that starbucks does or whatever yeah okay awesome right it's a great a series minutes left do you have any questions for the panel um i was in another review and someone said um book and my portfolio with start with the folgers and end with the beer um and i actually had it the beer was second because i was trying to keep it in the beginning is that a better way to go is to start and end with two stronger pieces it's what you like want people that remember you with. So it's like the last taste. Do you want to taste like, what's the worst thing you would not want to put in your mouth? <laughs> like if you have something, I, I mean, I don't know, you know, like maybe you hate ketchup and you're like, I got to eat ketchup last. No way. I'm going to eat the chocolate last. So I have mm -hmm. something good to remember. <laughs> I want you to remember. I is. want it to be a great, yeah. I know. So sorry, <laughs> Mina. Um, I want you to have a great impression to start, but then I want you to have something to last with, you know, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. want it to be like, mm. and if that's the kind of illustration work you want to do, that would be great to end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, Thank you all so much. Good job, man. Nicely done, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, good job. All right. Thanks for that. Do I need I'm to gonna... not talk so much? <laughs> no, you're fine. No, I you're amazing, keep... Diane. Yeah. <laughs> you keep doing you. <laughs> you keep doing you. <laughs> Next off. The best. <laughs> Next off, we have uh, the University of South Carolina in beautiful Columbia, right? Did I get that right? Yes, that's uh, correct. Uh, we yeah. have Meredith Price. All right. And Meredith, go ahead and un unmute yourself there if you could. Is. And everybody who's already gone, if you can go ahead and mute yourselves back on, we'd appreciate it. So I don't have to look for your names. All right, Meredith is on somewhere. There we go. Hey, Meredith. Yep, she's Hi. right there. How are you, Meredith? I'm good. How are you? Good. good. Thank you. Meredith, do you want to stay in Columbia or do you want to move? Um, I'm originally from Boston, so I'm probably going back after I graduate. Great. Nice. That's it. Okay. Kind of what kind of work do you want to do? Um, I want to do like branding, logo design, potentially motion design in the future. Great. Mm -hmm. So far, I, I really appreciate your case study vibe. Your layout looks really, really clean. And having title slides for like, are you grouping them by design or by project? It looks like you're going more by design. 
Yeah, by design. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Can I ask a question to the panel? Because um, usually what I like to see from a digital portfolio, I like to see something that's actually laid out in the aspect ratio of the screen, like Diane had mentioned earlier. And this seems True. to be like an export of a printed portfolio, the InDesign yep. file. Um, what, how do you guys feel about that, that kind of thing? Uh, it's a missed opportunity. I think that the work looks really good, but this super long, like ultra widescreen thing is like a little distracting to me personally. Um, again, if it was printed and we're looking at spreads, that's fine, but mm -hmm. spreads don't really kind of exist on, you know, digital artifacts, so to speak. You was that sort of the initial intent, Meredith? Yeah. Was that, yeah. okay. A printed. Yep. Yeah. So just always have whatever it is for that audience. So I mm -hmm. um, just, it's, that's user experience so that you are able to meet your customers or your, your hopeful employers, customers, wherever mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. Did you take these photos? Yes. So Beautiful. They are. So it's not entirely clear that you took these photos. Um, I, I would, it says digital media on, on the side, uh, but it, it, I don't know that that's specific enough for us to understand that these are your, your photos. I agree. It's mentioned in the blurb, but I agree with Mina. Mm -hmm. uh, what you just said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sadly, you'd have to remind me the whole way on every page <laughs> that that's... Uh, and I think it's important to do that, right? If you're talking and if you're in sitting in something, say yes, and I took these photos, right? Because mm -hmm. then people yep. get an idea of what you're able to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is you storyboarding, I guess, right? Yeah, this is a video component. The Beautiful, path. that's great. And I'm assuming in a typical situation, she would have the opportunity to tell us that because she'd be walking us through it. Yeah. We're in speed round here, but yeah, this is great. <laughs> And, yeah. and it would be so nice that last slide um, of the Food Network design, it, it's, you know, it's a motion piece. And so it would be so nice if this digital portfolio, um, I guess we don't have that capability, but uh, I see. Thank yeah. you, Vic, just, for, yeah, for hovering yeah. over that. <laughs> That's what I was going to say is how do we see it? And He's on it. How we do it. Yeah. We, we can yeah. try to click on it. I'm not sure how it's Oh, no, it's no, okay. No, no, I just, no. no. Don't click. <laughs> would be a already, disaster. Zoom is already tenuous. <laughs> um, I gotta say, I think the work looks really sophisticated. Like it seems yeah. to be at a very high level, which is really nice. Yep. Um, it, and I think it's ultimately comes down to kind of the yeah. layout, which is not really that important in the big picture. So, so this um, this this question goes out to the panel in in, in a whole, and I think um, you might have been the first one to do it. Maybe Ryan did it as well, but um, we did notice the the self brain in here. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there's certain opinions about self-branding, so can I hear from the panel as to what your general thoughts are? I'm just going to go really fast. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, um, Meredith, but I'm just going to go really fast to the thing because it started off here and it wasn't too big, but what, what are your thoughts on self-branding in general? Absolutely, you need it. Okay, we have it. Absolutely. Think. Okay. I'm cool the way she's using it. I think it starts off the conversation. It's, it's a simple one. It has some flair to it, which is great, but you're not overusing it throughout the rest. And I think that's smart. Like you're letting your work speak for yourself, mm -hmm. introduce yourself at the beginning. I've seen, we've seen a variety of student self-branding and it can get really, really crazy. I'm a fan of just toning it down. You, I think you've used it well. You're not having it in every right corner. I'm not seeing it on every page. Yeah. Right. Um, Don't I, need I, that I, for sure. I, I'd rather, you know, I know if anybody else wants to chime in on that, go for it. But Mitch? I, I'm more, I have I'm more no impressed opinion. with your work. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do, Mitch. No, I have a very strong opinion about this. I think you're using it really well, and I agree with what everybody said, but I think self-branding as a project sort of kind of makes me throw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> I actually can't stand it. I, I despise everything about it. Tell us how you're you really a human feel, being. Mitch. You are not a brand, so I just don't buy it. Yeah. Um, having said that, if you look at it as just a design project, you can make an incredibly great design project which is what we're seeing like it looks really good you know it's a great thing in this case um i just have issues when faculty make students do it for like a semester i just kind of drive oh out. gosh absolutely yeah. i'm just one guy absolutely. with an opinion i know yeah. I, I would have to agree about, with all of that yeah but and i, I, and say, I do oh go ahead uh, oh sorry I, no, but no, i did no, want to no. ask meredith uh, meredith you are um you are also a dance uh, you are also a dancer correct yeah okay so this just goes into some of the questions that I have um, in terms of how people study. But um, do you find, and I think you do, but do you find how, um, uh, do you find that your dance studies are impacting your design work? 
I do. I think especially for like my motion design stuff, I just, okay. I enjoy things with a lot of motion. And I think that is something that dance has brought into my design. I think it's also done something to your personal branding too. If you go back to the simple, it's a very concise movement, but it's, it has some tapering. And I, I think that uh, as a musician myself, I, I, I see that, um, that, that happening there. There, there is a crescendo de crescendo mm. in and out. And I just wanted to mention that I think, it, I think it's nice. This is not something that I ever get to tell you in class. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I That's think this cool. is so professional looking. I think you, you really nailed the, t uh, the template, the, the confidence. This feels above student level for me and specifically your, your layout and your presentation. Really, really nice. Yeah, I agree with that fully. Awesome. So we still have a few minutes left. Meredith, do you have any questions for the panel specifically? I do. So I'm, I have questions about grad school. Um, and if you, you think that's a good idea for a graphic designer, um, um, can I jump on that one? Yeah. Um, I have, uh, again, I'm a man with opinions. Tell me, Mitch. Surprising <laughs> being a white man in this country that I have opinions. Um, I think that um, grad school is great if you want to do a few specific things. I think that going directly from undergrad to grad is an enormous mistake. And I would never, ever, ever recommend anybody in sort of a creative field do that because grad school in sort of design and arts, they're very different than undergrad. Um, I think if you want to teach full time, it's something you should think about. I think if you want to sort of dramatically alter the, the track you've been taking, that's an opportunity. If you want to have a really, really deep self-directed dive into a topic, that's a reality. Um, Mina and I went to the same grad program, so I would defer to her for any Me more. too. Oh, did you go to VCU too, Daniel? Yeah. Oh, okay. So look at that. So obviously you're allowed to go to VCU and nowhere else, Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people go directly grad, undergrad to grad. I think that is a big mistake. Why would you want to go, Meredith? Um, just to get more practice and learn new techniques. So, and stuff. so just go be bold. Go get practice in the field because, yes, to be honest, you're going to get you're going to learn more in the field. And if you don't want to teach, you just need to get out there and get working yep. and, and know mm -hmm. that everything you could do is not going to be perfect, but that's why you work for somebody else in the beginning because yeah. they are going to have your back. And when you make a mistake, they're going to cover your butt money wise, right? All, all of, all of us can probably bring up so many examples of students that in their first two years, one year of work, you see a huge shift in their change and they just start slaying it right out of school. Yeah. So You'll learn it yep. in those first few years, 100%. Cool. I, I have one it, last there's something oh. to be said about having that uh, fire lit under your feet and yeah. the, uh, the need for that paycheck. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really does make you push your yeah. work. <laughs> so Meredith, one last thing. Your body text on here. Now, granted, I can't see it super good, but because VCU is super like tight, Nazi school, right? <laughs> you need to let it out a little bit. When you squint at a, bo a body of text, it should appear 50% gray. So your yours are a little too tight. So just okay. know that they need to mm -hmm. um, have a little bit more uh, space there. And if I can um, add one more thing about the grad school, I think uh, teaching is great. It's my favorite gig I've ever had, but I think you're actually doing, if teaching is your plan, I think you're actually doing a disservice to your future students of going straight to grad school and then go, going great to teaching because all you're taking them is the academia that you've learned as opposed to the real world. Uh, yeah, that you learned. I fully agree. It's a good way to think my about two, it. Two cents. Thank you well so said. much. I appreciate you coming in. Let's give it a run. Yeah, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Thanks. All right. I would say you guys are all representing your schools very well. You should be proud. Um, next off, we, next on we have uh, uh, Bonnie, Bonnie uh, from the University of Mobile. Um, and, Mobile. Um, Mobile, I knew I was gonna. That you gotta say it real southern, buddy. Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> that and Louisville, I can't pronounce. I just have Louisville. Thing. It's like you say Louisville, like you've got marbles in your mouth. Yeah, Louisville. Oh, so it's Mobile. <laughs> one Mobile. Syllable. It is one. one it is. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. All right, Danny, we're gonna pay attention to you now. Okay. Welcome. Are you, are you Hi. on? All right, awesome. Hi. All right. There we go. Well, What's your, what's your goal? What, do you, what, what are you looking to be? Um, I'm hoping to go into the advertising agency kind of area. Great. Um, I've interned in Mobile before with an Great. agency and really like that field. 
So. Good. Awesome. Uh, so again, the question is, are we looking at sort of pages in a printed thing right now? Is that? It is, sadly. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So we'll ignore that, but we're all recognizing. <laughs> right. It's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. There's a sign. There's a sign. <laughs> now, one thing I'm kind of curious about, if I may step in, and, and is it Vanny or Vanny? Vanny. It's Vanny. like Annie, but with a V in front of it. Vanny. Okay, Vanny, thank you. <laughs> um, and I want to ask the panel, um, I'm curious about everything being in the circles and then being in the frames of, uh, for each page. And I'm just curious to what the, mm -hmm. your, your reasoning was for that, and I'm curious to see what the uh, reviewers think of that. Um, well, my reasoning for it was because um, my logo is also a circle, so I guess it was kind of tying back a little bit to my personal branding, which <laughs> I know <laughs> we heard some strong yeah, things about that. Um, right, but also just to kind of like uh, use the space a little bit better. I got you. I think it's it's obviously limiting what you how you can crop and lay out and and put produce the case studies. It looks like this is almost like a page by page, just like lookbook, which in some application could be fine. But mm -hmm. as you're building the one for the job market, I would just really stress that you build this out to mm -hmm. show the story of each one, a little bit of the upfront, a little bit of the challenge, a little bit of the process and boom, then okay. your applications, you okay. know, but so far, I mean, things are looking good and strong. I like you. Looks you like got a good variety. A yeah. yeah. Cause again, that would be, I want to see those, I Wait, want to see what you did. Can you go back right. for just a second? So this, this is one? again, super ticky. You guys are going to be like, oh my God, I'm glad I didn't go to her school. <laughs> um, but do you see the space in between these two, um, the things? Just the use tiles. the gray boxes. The, the, yeah, yeah, the no, 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 not there. In between. No, yeah, no, the, the, the white the, space, the padding yes, the between white space. each card. Why aren't those the same, this, right? So the it's like they need to be closer all three of them together mm -hmm. and have the space at the top and the bottom be further apart because right now they're like you don't know who they're sitting with at the movies right or right. i i would i would actually go one further and say do we need these gray boxes yeah. no. what what are they doing for us and, and, and if they are doing a job then then make that a little bit more clear mm -hmm. i would also say i would also add um as a comic book geek and illustrator those little tails of the word balloons are just a little wonky how they're sitting over there. oh yeah okay i would bring it kind of yeah. like from the bottom in as opposed to kind of like mm -hmm. the top over okay. so that's, that's the illustrations deep. are great though on this i'd love to see that bigger yeah, so it's exactly. um it's Agreed. kind of and i i really like the don't forget and the open house yes. i'd love to mm -hmm. see you like pull that out because it has this really fun vibe mm -hmm. right? yeah. there is a lot of pattern padding in that top margin though for the open house one at the very bottom uh left for me um I, i'm not sure why there's that much space yeah mm -hmm. okay. um, so just consider mm -hmm. uh the scroll and and the, the fact that we shouldn't make people have to scroll too much if they don't need to good point okay. yeah but can we go back just sure. gently through just to kind of yeah i think like the visual language you're developing is real those are phenomenal yeah thank you i love so, those those are great i, I wish they were big one per page I'd yeah. love to see even like a pullout of a part of it or some detail, like a, yeah. then mm -hmm. you could use your circle, like it could be big and then you have a little circle of an inset if you just right. really are so into yeah. the circle. One of my favorite tips is when you are cropping things in within a case study, go zoom in, zoom out, show us those details mm -hmm. and show us the family. Like, so, and what it does as you are re going through these, it's such a pleasing thing to the eye that it's not just the same thing over and over again, but you're giving us a sense of variety and, and scale, which really makes a big difference. Can you go to the uh, the packaging Wait, that you have for how, the restaurant? Oh, oops. go ahead. I, see how that's not lined up? Like that bothers me. Oh, Diane's writing on the screen now. That's I know, awesome. sorry. There, I there, you there you go. I'm not oh, sure. Yeah, I forgot that. we can do that. Uh -oh. Yes. Oh no, it's a whole <laughs> new, it's a whole new, new portfolio <laughs> review. <laughs> Can you go to the packaging page where you had a bunch of that laid out? Was that a restaurant? Let me know when to stop. Uh, the sushi packaging? Yeah. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. There, there you go. Yes. Again, like, like, again, like the, the scaling of your cropping here could just be like, wow, so interesting. If it get, mm -hmm. get us in the details, go into the weeds of it, and then scale back out. 
But um, again, too, like making sure I get to see that menu. You spent a lot of time on it. I'd love to see more of it, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Um, this could be build out to a great case study. Um, one thing too with restaurants is to consider is like, I think Diane, you mentioned bringing in like uh, some commentary and some uh, copy in some of these brands too. A wall mural in the back of this, mm -hmm. you know, in the that's so huge right now in restaurant design. Mm -hmm. So show us what, what could possibly be a message from this company. What are they saying to the consumer, you know? All right. It's really nice. Thank okay. you. These are lined up. <laughs> I guess you're my grandbaby because you're, your teacher is my alumni, right? Right. Megan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think I'm going to give a real hard pass on the circles. Yeah. It's kind of driving me a little crazy right now. Right. I mean, we, we love and adore you, Vanny, but they're driving me. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. But yeah, I think the work is, it's such intense colors. It's so mm -hmm. bright. It's so sort of varied. It's one, I just want to see like, I just want to be blown away by how yeah. sort of intense these are. Mm -hmm. you know? I think you're not afraid, Vanny. Yeah. And I think your circles and your squares and these, and these uh, boxes you're putting things in are very safe. But mm -hmm. I don't think you're a safe designer or right. illustrator. Yeah. And break I, and out. I, I break yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. I want you to <laughs> effing break out, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Vanny, I would probably kill the caked for me. I okay. don't know what in, that that one is like. Hard to read. It's it's yeah. difficult to read, and it just doesn't look like it's something that you have. A, you could keep working on this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. But yeah. this, I I I don't know. I feel like I don't. I mean, I don't even wear makeup, but it, it, it reminds like, me of Mad Magazine. Yeah, maybe so. Mm -hmm. I, I love it when head. a student rebrands their uh, a project. Um, you, you now can go back and look at this in a, with a different perspective. I've seen some of the best work from my students come from when they got a comment like that and mm -hmm. they redesigned something they have in their book. So give it a shot. I, okay. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And we this have one's a nice, yeah. super nice. I might start further up in the, the portfolio with this one. Okay. We have a couple minutes left, Vanny. Do you have any questions for our panel? Um, Yes, actually. So for my intent to go to an agency type of field, um, is there anything in my portfolio that stands out as something that doesn't necessarily need to be there for an agency um, type of work? I guess. The coloring book? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good, great question. I love that you're, you're, you're thinking that way. Um, you know, I think you, it depends maybe too, like we were saying, I like to have a breadth of everything in a portfolio and for the opportunity that you are going to edit it to be specific to that particular meeting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you might have 20 different versions in within the next five months of these, these, these portfolios. Mm -hmm. um, Cause you don't know a great opportunity could come your way. That's not in the ad agency and you might right. want to grab it, but you just build it for that one. Right. Okay. Yeah. I also think a lot of ad, you know, you need to look at wh what ad agency you're going for. If they do a lot of ad advertising or uh, print advertising or web or social media, then maybe you need to put some more of that stuff in okay. um, just so that they know that you could, you understand how to work with formats yeah. and things like that. Um, if, you know, a lot of times publication design is more in uh, in-house or you're doing for a, you know, publication, you're mm -hmm. doing something like that. So you might have uh like annual reports possibly might be done at an ad agency, but a lot of times those are more like design firms. So I would just dig in and research ad agencies and the kind of stuff that is a lot of ad agencies. Do you, and I, I know you live in Mobile now, but do you, right. where do you want to move? Cause there ain't nothing here, right? I mean, right. No offense. <laughs> um, I'm looking at South Carolina uh, a little bit. Um, really, I will go anywhere. <laughs> what any are you place. a junior, senior? I'm a senior. Okay, so. so so make start making connections. So just make a commitment and just start connecting with people in South yeah. Carolina. Vanny, if you want, we can put you uh, in touch with the AIGA South Carolina chapter. Just um, hit me up. That's okay. my social on my handle here. So that would be great. DM me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Thank you. Fun. Nice, Vanny. Thanks. All right. If I may also add to that question that Benny asked regarding the ad agencies, I think ad agencies, from my uh, experience too, have always been looking for like the thinking, not just the design. I know a lot of agencies display the work on their websites in case studies. So maybe that's something that you could consider, mm -hmm. um, you know, breaking out like the, 
not only the hows, but the whys you created something and start kind of going that direction as well. Um, thank you all so far. So uh, the next one that we have coming to us from the um, University of Central Missouri in Warrensburg, uh, I believe. Uh, we have Noah Kinney and Noah, I'll go ahead and, um, do you want to unmute yourself? And I'll go ahead and bring yours up. I have two screens going on and <laughs> I've lost my, there we go. What's up, Noah? Noah, you with us? All right, Noah. This is a great start. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I feel energized. Taking the colors, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Ooh, I see he's... Noah here. I, I, do, do there you he hear is. Noah or? Oh, hey, Noah, there you are. We can't hear you. Maybe unmute yourself, I'm not sure. Uh, as Noah's unmuted himself, I also want to point out that he's helping with CancelCon as a moderator, so he's working hard behind the scenes. Oh, Way to thanks, go, Noah. Noah. Way to stuff. go. So thank you, Noah. I don't know if you heard because he's frozen on my side. There you go. <laughs> I right. see him. There we, we go. Got, do we got you, Noah? No, we Not can't hear yet. you. You know, go ahead. As we're, so, um, as we're, can you hear us? Bottom left-hand corner, except audio. And also select a microphone. If you if you click on the top, the carrot pointing up um, near the mute there, um, in the bottom left corner, you can change your microphone. I'm not sure if that helps or not. Do you guys wonder if the kids know what we're talking about when we say carrot? I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's coming through as unmuted. It doesn't have an. an yeah, yeah, that's why microphone. I said the the bottom. So, yeah. yeah. So no, let's the, go ahead and get started. Zoom yeah, mic. Let's just look at his stuff and yeah, let's do yeah. it. If you have spe specific He's questions, go now. ahead and put it He's in. He's connecting. The we got you, buddy. No. Hey, can we hear you? Test. Nope. Can, okay, we can't hear you. Can you All just right. push through, uh, yeah. Victor, and then we'll just yeah. Give let's him go some ahead feedback. and put your questions in the chat, Noah, and then I'll re I'll um, say it out to the uh, yeah. to the to the staff or to the staff. I'm sorry. I mean, it's a great start. <laughs> staff. It looks good. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh. all right. Nice. Okay. Good food, good mood. Beautiful. Nice. Hey, hey, there's some carrots. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love oh, the illustrations. These are so fun, this Noah. Great. You're yes. making me want to go make letters. stuff. I know, right? That's the That's best That's like the compliment. best compliment. <laughs> this is a great layout Jinx. right here. Isn't that where we see Zoom and in, but we see this yeah. is mm -hmm. terrific. Yeah. One of the things that Andrew told my uh, students when we were having our senior portfolio reviews is, you know, don't be afraid to, instead of having these mock-ups that all look the same, break out the mock-ups so you see a little bit of this kind of stuff on the outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's such a balance, right? Because you don't want it to overpower the work, but um, there's a crispness in the screens here. This looks great. Looks really good, dude. Yeah. This is like the best mock-up style. Yep. Just that oh, I've, God. I've Noah, seen stop. so far. Just stop, Noah. <laughs> you're giving it to me and yeah you're you're being really thoughtful Beautiful. and really intentional mm -hmm. I, I appreciate that nice good okay so you got your research going perfect good competitive you, you analysis. see how you you see how you've got chrome um, is misspelled i think i'm yeah. sorry yeah, i'm such is. a God, that, you, that's what you, you need you spotted that out a, like so a quickly. second that's awesome so see how, Noah, see how you've got some bolded areas in this slide. In the previous slide, it could be helpful to also mm -hmm. get some bolded areas just so that we can pop in on a few mm -hmm. words and then it's move cues. on. It's totally yeah. cues. Yeah. This yep. is good. Agreed. I'm dying to see what you do. Get, let's go. Let's see. <laughs> good. <Sorry>. That's nice. <laughs> kind of, I like, this is great. Ah. Like even exp oh, exploring, sketches. exploring the Thank architecture you. of the packaging. You didn't just take a mock-up and did it. You, yeah. you made some choices, like what would work for the brand? This is awesome. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Cool. Yeah. More inspiration. Yep. Yep. Nice. Yep. There you go. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool, okay. Nice. So we did, we would, did wait a long time for the payoff here. How do we <laughs> feel about that, guys? It's a little too much for me. Yeah. Consolidate to yeah. two slides of that process. Um, oh, this is great. Let's see. Is that part of the same? Is this I think part we moved on to something. No, that's yeah, different. That's a, different. That's a Redwoods gotcha. project. So my only concern here would be white on white. Um, mm. You you put a complementary, like a purple background behind this or something that's complementary to the green, or it's a dark, dark version of that green. 
uh, let, oh my gosh, let these packaging pop. Because you, yeah. you set us up for a reveal here. I want to yeah. see these things really nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. One thing that I would also add is like the inconsistent lighting throughout your whole piece, especially yeah. this one is just kind of driving me a little bit crazy. And I'm a big believer in hanging punctuation. Um, oh yeah. Like that one right there where you're, your eye is. It's not a belief, it's a fact. Thank yep. you. Yep. <laughs> Bust. It's not, Use that it's not story a function, point. guys. Use that story function. Noah, did you do any other varieties of this? Like, do you have a different grade uh, in purple, a different grade in blue or anything like that? Cool. Yeah. That would be, I mean, show us a series like we were mm -hmm. saying earlier. I want to see how you take this and make a family oh, he says, a, a product. He next. says they're next. Okay. They're next. Oh, okay. Oh, he's working on them next probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, right. damn. This is, this is oh, sick. Hey. That looks hot. Wow. Love it. Noah, you, you work big. I appreciate that. Yeah. You, just, you think big. This is good. Yeah. I would say this is extremely confident. Mm -hmm. which is great even just your the baseline of what you did with your portfolio you're telling me what this is on the far right bottom um yep. look at that that's great dude really really nice so i don't think we've asked no but what do you want to do after post-graduation as he's typing well I'll keep going <laughs> it's a very long answer <laughs> <laughs> branding agency branding, branding. Yeah. Good. in missouri or where do you want to go and what year are you you misspell cinematographer right there Ooh, good catch good catch yeah this is a reminder to everyone in the audience spell check spell check spell check command spell i check. <laughs> yeah. No, it lives in uh, New York or, and St. Louis. Okay. Or just oh, get in great. front of a, a, a fresh pair of eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Amen. Your your previous work was so good. I don't know if this one's really this case study has really impressed me. See, and then you're going right into this. Yeah. yeah. I don't I think yeah. the photographer one is, is not needed. Yeah. I'm yeah. with oh, man. I'm yeah. with well Nick done. on that. Yeah. Wake up and go get them. Mm, I like this. <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah. You, you've given me, you know, this, um, and Mitch, what do you think? Cause like, I know I, what in you're this talking case, about. I'm into it. Like, yeah, yeah like it's really you, good. Yeah. You're, you're giving me a brand voice and this is what I think I strive for with my own clients to do, yeah. let alone a student. Um, yeah. and you've set the tone with this. I'm, I'm, I, I look at every case study with the exception of that one we were talking about and it fits you like uh -huh. a T and I'm, and I'm really happy to see that in a, in a student. 100%. Yeah. I don't, I don't read this as like a us? personal brand. <laughs> I read this as just more of like a, like a, here's what I am. Here's my game. Yeah. Like a motto. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I totally agree. Yeah, a, really like nice. a, a creed, a motto. Yeah. yeah. Like sure. mm -hmm. it, it's you like, do, you know what? This is what he wears on his back patch. He's right. just yeah. also showing you. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really strong portfolio. I totally agree with Nick about the photographer one. I think you could kill that one. There were, there are just like tiny little things you need to go back. So spell check. There was also the hanging punctuation, but there was also like Lighting. you had a, a period, a period outside of the quotes. So it's kind of like a zit. You know, when you do it like that, so you got to bring it inside the quote so it's not so obvious, okay? Yeah, like a zit, <laughs> it stands out, man. It's like, yeah, on its own. no, I, I remember uh, uh, Diane once talked about how she lectured about type, and she, she said, if you do something wrong, it's like you're wearing a bra and you're outside, outside your clothing. Do you remember that's that? right? Yeah, so you said that you know, on the panel, yeah, <laughs> you, that was where, I, yeah, oh, at Creative South, that's right, Creative South. All right. Any, uh, we got a couple minutes left. No, any, uh, questions for the, the panel? Um, I'd love to see these illustrations pulled out to just see or see them used on something else. Um, because this is a different style than what I saw earlier. So that shows your abilities. And it harkens to a couple of other things he did. So, um, mm -hmm. let's see, he's saying, how is my variety of style throughout the whole portfolio? Yeah, I think you could actually um, restructure the, uh, I'll just call it the narrative or the arc of this portfolio, sort of bring it, um, daisy chaining some things that sort of lead into other things. Like this particular piece works really well next to the Redwoods project because it has that grit and the texture and yeah. the um, illustration-ish stuff. You, you had another project as well um, that had a little bit of illustration in it and a little bit of hand tooling to it. Um, 
if you can find a way to connect those through an arc to bring us through the, the portfolio, that's what I always tell my students to do. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Okay. Thank you so much. The, appreciate it. How was the variety yeah. of types of projects? Really good. Nice. Yes. Nicely done. Okay. Good job, Noah. Yeah, really nice. nice. All right. Go mod now. We appreciate you. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, guys. So we are the, that's the first hour of these portfolio reviews. So if you're just joining us, wow. thanks for uh, coming in. Um, my name is Victor Davila on behalf of Andrew Hawkrat on the, the uh, canceled con team. I'd like to welcome you um, to the second hour of the portfolio reviews in this conversation. We're going to be doing this again tomorrow morning um, from 10 to noon uh, Pacific Standard Time, um, 1 to 3 Eastern and whatever in between. And I'd just like to welcome our panelists again. Um, I'm going to do your, your um, the, the same intros again really quick. And I'm sorry oh uh, for the student who's next. We'll, we'll, we'll take into account how long I'm going. Um, from the University of South Alabama, also the, um, the host of Design Recharge, we have Diane Gitt. Um, from Longo Design, he is a professor of graphic design at California State University and the co-host of the Deeply Graphic Podcast, we have Nick Longo. Uh, hey guys. From the University of South Carolina, uh, where she's an assistant professor of design and she's also the, um, serves on the AIJ Design Educators Community Steering Committee, we have yes. Munich Lili. Um, and of course, from the Rochester Institute of Technology, where he's an associate professor, he's a writer, designer, and uh, an inspirational Twitter and Instagrammer, we have uh, Mitch Goldstein. <laughs> and again, my name is Victor Davila from the University of Central Florida. And somebody just texted me and told me that my background is backwards. And other people told well, me, okay. Well, it's good to me. No, so it it's backwards, just kind of get your mirror and work it out. And um, <laughs> We, you can reach all of us at our Instagram feeds or at our socials that shows up on our screen. All right. So uh, with that said, our next uh, student that we are welcoming over is, um, let's see, from Central Washington University in Ellensburg, Washington. I'm hoping I get all these cities right because I looked it up last night to try to be professional. Um, <laughs> we are welcoming uh, Matthew Conrady. Hi everyone, thanks for having hey. me. Hey, what's up hey. Matthew? Yeah. All right, Matthew, and we are starting at 2.08 for you, so uh, we'll go ahead and give you 2.18 after. All right. Yep. Matt, are you a junior, senior, what? Um, I'm a senior this year, graduating in June. Awesome, congrats, man. Thank you. Ooh, look at these. Oh, some Luke Combs, I love it. That looks great. Oh, these are phenomenal. Thank you. Love the limited color palettes. Those are fantastic. What a challenge it is sometimes too, right? But boy, if you can do that, that is great for- That's great. A, it shows a client you can do lots of things with limited budgets, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you have in dashes instead of hyphens. Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that March 5th through the 7th. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Way to go. Thank you. <laughs> These oh, are nice. Do you want to do branding? Um, yeah, definitely. I think my plan after graduation is for a year or two, I kind of want to work in a studio agency setting and then eventually kind of go full time for myself. I've been like freelancing quite a bit the last year and it's kind of the big goal to eventually go full time for myself. Good. Good balance right there, man. Thank you. I like that you're giving us kind of the, the break so we know it's a new project. Yeah, super mm -hmm. important. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, man, these, I want to buy that. <laughs> Where's your shop? <laughs> you know what I do? One thing, I, um, can you go back really quick, Victor? To So I try to Here? get my, yeah. Okay. I try not to get my students to do stuff in the year we're doing. I try to have it so it's like after they would graduate so think about like doing it for 2021 20, or 20 so oh, that's a good point it doesn't always date it right mm -hmm. yeah i love the series there? here yes okay. yeah. i'm sorry you can right. go cool Ooh, that upper right hand corner was my favorite on that yeah page. agreed i would almost say like blow that one up and show mm -hmm. it off for, did mm -hmm. you do the illustration on the left top yeah, all the illustrations. Oh, good. Right now. Oh, even. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good. 
show it off. You That's might great. need more pages than of that to show that you're doing the illustration and the kind of infographic sort of stuff. Yeah. 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 To kind of showcase a little bit. Oh, this looks great. I love the inconsistencies. The, mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This Dude, is so yes, key. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is making Victor nice. and Mina drool. I can't handle yeah. it. It's so good. It's good stuff. Uh, tell me though, um, uh, Matt, I saw you use the Visceral Projects logo and all of that on your um, first page of this of this book, and and I see it's you know it's right here as well. Yeah. So how, how how yeah? Can you talk to us about that? Yeah. So kind of thinking probably for the case of like portfolio like this it might it might make more sense just to keep as its own case study. Um, Basically, this is something that started for me as a personal project about two years ago, and then it transitioned to a thesis project. It's basically a way to kind of just like brand all the work that I'm doing, and it's the company that I'm now doing all my freelance work under, so all the gig posters and that kind of stuff. Right. I'm able to like basically do these designs and make like t-shirts, but then I'm also just doing freelance work, and I do a lot of like fine art work as well. So it's basically a way to combine the design and the fine art work together. Great. Right. Yeah. So were you also selling t-shirts then? So do you have that entrepreneurial spirit? Yeah. Yeah. So all the designs in under the visual projects, each of those, um, the one with like the four up grid, those are all t-shirt designs. So, so to, to me, that's a huge advantage if you are entrepreneurial that you understand about business and that you've had to put some money behind things and that you understand. Logistics. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and that you you understand how the market works, right? You understand how to test and what mm -hmm. to do. So that might be, um, it, it's an advantage that not a lot of other seniors in college would have. True, true. On your, uh, um, visceral, on your visceral logo, I'm yeah. curious, was there a reason why you didn't roughen the- Thank the, you. The icon? <laughs> That's the only point I had. <laughs> I, I was gonna say the same thing and the projects, yeah. Yeah. What, what's yeah, your thought? I've kind of gone back and forth with a lot because I've kind of, um, the way I've thought about it is kind of, I didn't want it to be one set logo for everything and kind of want to have all these different moving parts. And that icon was kind of the one consistent thing. I and got so, you. Um, I don't know, just the way it translated across different platforms. I thought it could be interesting to kind of pair it with a little rougher text with icon, but yeah, it would work better if that kind of matched the rougher style. Uh, it's worth a shot. I don't. I'm sure maybe you did, but like I would try to roughen it just a little bit. One yeah. thing I would I love doing too is like, do you, you do mostly? What's your process when you do these things that are real gritty? Are you iPad? Or are you um, write on ink on paper? Yeah. So for right now, until I get an iPad or something, basically that screen that you see right there is I'm just doing it all on paper and then oh, putting it in a scanner. Stop. Okay, no, do not stop. get an iPad. <laughs> you are not allowed don't, to buy the, the iPad and Procreate, that wasn't created for you. Yeah. I, it was, no, it, I know. this yeah. is you, you can do it. I'm, I'm calling uh, Apple right now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are not allowed. <laughs> do no, not it, let do, this person buy I, a license. I hope you realize what, why we're saying that because it's like you, 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 you would miss out on that as, as great as I've seen some people like John Contino and others uh, take the iPad off to a whole other level, there's something about yours that I just would say, man, keep the grit, keep the realness. Mm -hmm. um, it's so nice. Your color choices, bro, 100%, yeah. man. I, yeah. I'm so, so impressed with this. It looks great. And your space, like your white space, your use of white space, your hierarchy, you mm -hmm. tell a story. There's just, you have yep. a really... Solid thing. What you need to do if you aren't, you need to connect. You start need to connect with people. And then when you become friends with them, then they want to help lift you up. So because they they will see how awesome you are unless you're Truth. just jerky. Yeah. So don't be jerky. <laughs> you don't seem jerky. So so then just start connecting because people will want to be your friend and then they will want you're doing amazing things. So then they'll want to lift you up and bring you on board. And so just connect connect mm -hmm. connect use these next four weeks to make some friends yeah Thank don't you, be afraid to get on a zoom call okay? where are you where are you based again matt so um i'm originally from northern california right now i'm going to school um central washington it's about okay 90 miles east of seattle great um, okay. yeah did an internship in austin this past summer it's kind of looking in austin and then also portland so kind of all over the place right now nice man nice. Yeah. i think i'm just as like a note for everybody watching this right now, including people not showing work, like the stuff we are reacting to as a panel is the stuff that is confident and assertive. Yeah. So that is a, it doesn't have to be loud. That's the common You can be threat. minimal and be yeah. confident and assertive. 
Yeah, but that's right. the stuff that we're excited about. So just a kind of a note. Can I make one weird point, Matt? And I'm sorry to bring this up just because, uh, and you guys tell me if I'm totally off base and we can even edit this out of the video after the fact if I'm just totally off base. But when I see this visceral projects and it has established in 2020, that language that I see in a lot of these lockups uh, is that this word here kind of goes with that word there. And I don't read it as established projects 2020, right? You follow me? Right. But, so that when I was, when I was like looking at over here, all I saw was rock rape. Mm. I didn't see like the rock uh -huh. rape, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Which totally is a complete opposite of what you're trying to say. So am I reading that wrong or what do you guys feel about that? Cause it just kind of like took me off. Like when I was sure. Um, no, that's a good point. Definitely. Good yeah. Point. That is a yeah. good point. I, I, I totally passed by that. Yeah. I have a question about that. Um, sure. Do you still read it the same way in kind of the lockup on the far right, the more like circular lockup that it's kind of stacked instead of, um, oh, yeah. Right. That one I read as rock against rape and I yeah. Even yeah. read that one. It's, it's the fact that this was kind of like with, a, I don't know, I just saw this more as kind of like, you know, I see 20 and then 19 and those two pieces go together when there's something like on the other <laughs> side. Obviously right. the multi-color multi helps you here because you can train the eye where to go first, right? right? But then the other one you were mentioning, Victor, was all one color, right? It was like one color against yeah. the reversed out. Yeah, you know? appreciate you mentioning that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and, kind and of also, an important one. Uh, yeah. You've yeah. got such a talent, Matt. I would say too, like, um, the only cr critique I would have is to keep, and that's why we said no iPad, keep going in your lane. Find the niche that I'm going to look at this in two years and go like, I remember that dude. That's Matt's work. Like, yes, th there's no copycatting here. And I'm not saying that's happening, but continue to build on who you are. Mm -hmm. you, you have the, you've got enough influence with uh, what's happening in the creative world right now. And in this zone, make it your own now. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And it's funny because I've had a lot of students that have become alumni and I ask them what they're, sh what they're doing now and they show me some of this kind of like work that's really personal. And I was like, that's amazing. Why didn't you do that when you were a student? And I was like, oh, I didn't realize that yeah. was like something that was, you wanted to see. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I, you're exploring this as a student. And Yeah. yeah. I, I want to say Procreate uh, and all the Adobe tools. Thank you, Adobe. You're a great sponsor. Um, Procreate and all of those tools are a sieve that we all put our stuff through, right? And, and it outputs. You are not using anything but your hand, a sheet of paper, and a pen. That is so unique to you. Just don't lose it. Yep. Right. Thank you. Hard agree. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. I nice appreciate it. Good job, Matt. For Matt. Good Good job, Matt. Thank you all. All right. So next up, we have from the University of or Madison College, um, we have Megan Johns. And Megan, I'm going to go ahead. I'm sorry. Scratch that. I skipped somebody. Sorry, Megan. From the Wichita, <laughs> Wichita State University in Kansas, we have Cooper Blask. I'm hoping uh -huh. I'm pronouncing that right. Nice. Uh, Blasky. Thank you. Blasky. Thank you, Cooper. When I first there saw your is. name, I thought it was Cooper Black. I was like, yeah, That's a great design name. Yeah, <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> All right. And uh, those of you who are joining in, feel free. I, I see some of you guys are doing it. Feel free to leave comments on the chat. Yeah, and uh, we see it. The, the the students, the reviewed, see it. So uh, you know, if you have any comments, uh, by all means, join in. All right. So, uh, Cooper, you're a junior. Yes. And do you want to stay in Kansas? Um, I would, but I'm definitely open to going other places, um, like Austin, Oklahoma City, Tulsa. Uh, there's a lot of cool places in Kansas City too. Um, I don't I don't have anywhere scratched off the list. I'm open to anything. So to me, just layout of these pages sort of looks like you're being a goalie and you're just trying to fill the space, fill the space, fill the space. So <laughs> if you could um, bring them in. Uh, yeah, that's great. So if you hierarchy. could, it, yeah, I think. Oh, even it, here. Yeah. A little bit of border. And, okay. and have maybe something that where you're at the bottom, where you're kind of making some of these decisions, make some of those a little bit bigger. Like this is, this is much better. Okay. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Yeah. Oh, I see some hood fonts in there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice, son. That's great. Keep going. Yeah. This, I got a sneak peek of. I love this case study, dude. Really nice. Thank you. Um, a question wow. to the panel. What do you think of things like this? 2019 school project. Does he need to say that it's a school no. Or even <laughs> a 
Ladies and, just made it. And that type under there, whew, I feel like I'm an 80 year old and in the big <laughs> print at the library. So, Low light coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. but but then and there's some the, yeah yes. the hyphenation underneath. You have body text. Mm -hmm. that you're using in the other pages but right here it makes me feel like you don't know what body text is so i don't need that subhead to be that long and with yep. hyphenation for sure okay yeah because cool. the hyphenation is kind of like in all the pieces like yeah seen. i definitely struggled a lot with that there's just a button in indesign <laughs> unclick Un uncheck it it's in your yeah. paragraphs window uncheck it <laughs> And with the I left think. align if it's a fully justified you might get all these rivers but with left align you should be fine yep. mm -hmm. okay Cool. Uh, yeah. This is great. Like you could, but maybe I know you did a lot of work there, but like, oh, you don't have to show every version of that. I would narrow it down just a bit, yeah. but I love okay. seeing how, how great is that, that process going to the final. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's like right out of Draplin's book when he shows you that path mm. that he takes to get to the, the last one. Th mm -hmm. That's such a great journey. I but like, that. I'm going to draw like these all look very, very, yes. very similar. So yes. you don't yeah. need yeah. 12 of those. You can do like, edit down. Yep. And move okay. it forward. And some of them look like J's to me too. So I'm glad you didn't yeah. go that direction. Yeah. That was a lot of the feedback <laughs> I got in my class. <laughs> yeah. Looks good, man. This is great. I look, colors look great. Love the, the mural. That looks great. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Oh, um, nice. This is really nice. Hysteria. This looks like senior work for sure, or going out and working. This looks professional. So this is, I might start with this project. Yeah. Um, okay. Watch the uh, line length here. Very, yeah. very, it's really wide. Yeah. 12 tracking. words. 12 words. Characters is kind of for. Yeah. Mitch, can you repeat that? Because you're breaking up for me. I didn't oh, know. sorry. I think the line length of that paragraph is way too wide. Okay. So you just want to shrink it down. I always say 65 characters, 12 words, whatever it is. Just, just gotcha. kind of to shoot for. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, I like this one. Mm -hmm. Oop, got to do that story. Yep. <laughs> bingo punctuation. Mm -hmm. Optical margin alignment. This is like a game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it bingo? Uh, <laughs> are <we> gonna... <laughs> I haven't seen anybody use two spaces, so. Whew. Ooh, but those inch marks should be inch marks, not Prime marks, yeah. quote. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right I know I'm really ticky. I think that's why you're on the panel. <laughs> you need that. <laughs> that's, we're all kind of ticky. Is this is this um this is blue painters tape I think right and you yes. uh, or and so this is really fun I'd love to see that zoomed in a little bit um and then I I don't know if you're telling me uh, in it in the bottom about your process but I love that I hope you are yeah yeah it kind of explains uh, the process of like physically printing them out and tearing yeah. it and kind of the collage and I know that you mentioned it's eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper but I'd love to see some sort of indication of the scale of this final mm -hmm. piece somehow mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah. Mm. Very nice. I love yeah, that how really the tape powerful. ended up in in it that yeah. with that yeah. uh, bende dots or whatever. Yeah. Get that on some merch too. I mean, like you could yeah, a t-shirt, a notepad, something that would be sold alongside of that. That's great. Yeah, I plan to make some screen prints at my school before everything got sh shut down. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. time kind of ran out there. There is there that. You go. Yeah. <sighs> so wait, okay. can we go back for just a second? What do you guys think about cuz? C U Z. Because yeah. why not? Well, if okay, so maybe we should have it, a question mark for, for starters. But first off, yes, but, uh, yeah, I wonder if we change the voice of it visually and you italicize it or oblique or whatever, you know, something makes it different. It, it's kind of fun. I don't have too much of a problem with it, but it's just the type size is type, yeah, I'm more of a problem with that than, than the, the voice. I like the comments? choice of stickers. Really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is really nice. Top right's a, a little, little, little overlapping, but uh, looks great. Yeah, I think that's that one was just like kind of mistaken. Throw everything on top of each other. See, throw what some it looks gray. Like. Okay. Throw yeah. some gray. Some grayscale in a few of them just to pop them out a little depth. Okay. Hmm. This is cool. Yeah. Awesome. 
Great, man. Who's yeah, just you're that? on these screens. Just I want to see that you can control your that you're not goalieing it. You know, like mm-hmm. trying okay. to fill. Yeah, so I just just let <laughs> it be in I'm the. I'm totally space. robbing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm robbing slap. Uh, Logo slapping. <laughs> Logo slapping, man. I'm taking that. <laughs> no, you nailed it with that. This the idea, like the margin thing. It's like it might be just having someone look this over as well too to kind of help you because you're right, like condensing some of that stuff down, editing a few things here. You have you have such good potential here, dude. I, that coffee one, just like yeah, we we drooled. Mm-hmm. You know, and I know we we, we haven't talked about this, but I really appreciate that you got your email for your URL. Way to go, buddy. And that yeah. that's your, inst- I mean, I, I know it costs money every month, but boy, is it better than having a Gmail yep. or oh, yeah. whatever. Agreed. It just, it says that you're a professional. Same thing we were just saying with Matt about his entrepreneurial stuff. That tiny little thing says something to me that He's you cared. understand. Yeah. And that Absolutely. you're putting, investing in. So way to go, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of like the plus one in front of the phone because it indicates Amen. you understand there's other countries than the United States. <laughs> Amen. I mean, yeah, I know it's global. stupid, but really, I yeah. think it says something. It does. Um, Cooper, do you have any questions for the panel since we only have like about a minute left? Um, yeah. I know I did a lot of um, kind of branding and I showed some um, like illustration, but um, some feedback I'd gotten before that a lot of people at my school wanted to see maybe like some layout or more like text heavy work. Would that be um, something that would be worth it to me to kind of work on and put in here? I got a question. Are you interested in layout and text heavy work? Um, I definitely don't prefer it. Sounds to... like a no. So then no, should not be in there. <laughs> Why would you put in something you don't want to do? Or yeah, exactly. I just had gotten a lot of feedback from my yeah. school about yeah, that. Yeah, fire, fire yeah. right back and say, I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to do go. that. I will say, though, on that note, you could use some practice in that because we're, we've made those yeah. uh, connections already yeah. with the body copy issues and things like that. So just yeah. work on that. Be able to do it. But yeah, you don't necessarily need to show it in your, your, your deck just like, because what you're supposed to. Like that order up. Like your show, no, one more back, I think. Mm. That yeah. One. So like on that sheet, you're at least showing you understand hierarchy in mm-hmm. type, right? And then you understand what body text would be like. So I understand it. And I think on, honestly, the words under Firefly or original might be too small for me to read. And I wear glasses, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so it's that you don't understand some of those nuances of somebody actually using the piece. But in packaging, if you like packaging, there's lots of small type in packaging. So then yeah. push it there. Show, show that you can do body text in something like right. that. Okay. Or even an ad, if you like ads or, you know, you can utilize, it's not a ton of text, right? Mm -hmm. But you could pop it in there. And I would also say, Cooper, that in any review that you get, you're going to get conflicting opinions. Uh, Right now, for the most part, we've all all agreed so far, but at some point you might go to somebody and say, this is your worst piece. You got to take this out and do this other one. The next person is going to be like, no, this other one's the best piece. Take that first one out. And there's going to be some conflicting because we all have our opinions. Right. At the end of the day, you have to figure out what's going to work for yourself, what's going to work for your, your trajectory, and kind of like uh, trust your gut in a lot of ways. Yep. Yeah. And I'd always heard um, like put out the work that you want to get in. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'd always kind of been reluctant to put out some of the more boring mm-hmm. work. One question. Yeah. There. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Good Thank job. you, Cooper. We appreciate you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, guys. Cooper. Appreciate you having me. All right. Um, somebody in chat had asked Matt what your Instagram, Rebecca in chat had asked what your Instagram is. So if you, um, if we kind of projects, like, yeah, it, found sorry. them. It's visceral projects, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, if you haven't, if you, if you're still <laughs> in the room, go ahead and add your, your information. Uh, Matt, everybody everybody else who's gone. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Now we have coming to us from, uh, Madison college um in uh well we have megan johns yes hi guys can you hear me hey megan hi megan um quick question megan um is madison college the same as madison area technical college yes it is They're the okay same. so we have three of you guys coming up wow yeah, oh, so, yeah. i just wanted to make sure from beautiful madison wisconsin so uh kind of j- dang I love Good her job. thing says quarantine 2020. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I do like these little, we tell our students the same thing. These little bars, I think um, um, 
Noah had one. They're just kind of like consistent at the bottom. It's designed for the page. I think this kind of stuff works really well. But anyway. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Wait, you're going a little fast, buddy. Sorry. I'm... Okay, now you can go. Yeah. Sorry. The palette is nice. <laughs> Love the colorways. This is where those little circles are kind of pulling in in a nice, in a neat way, but they're subtle, yeah. right? Yeah, this works. I agree. I like that you don't have all white people. Good job. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that looks good. A lot of variety. <laughs> ah, the storefronts. I love that. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Since 81, they're using a picture from the 50s. That makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Ooh, that's really nice. Totally yeah. different. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it's it when, Martha. I love it when someone surprises you and you're like, same artist? Like, yeah. that's great. Yeah. That's really cool. Keep going. Yeah. This looks good. This is beautiful. The little yellow boxes on that yellow are a little difficult. So you mm -hmm. might want to adjust that. But, yep. Oh, I love big pins. Those are my favorites. <laughs> it's one of my favorite logos still. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. This looks good. This is neat. Nice little campaign. That is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is great. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, no, you're not just another designer. Come on. Amen. Yeah. No, stand the, up. The word just yes. is a powerless word. So you guys mm -hmm. should avoid using the words just in any kind of email. Just go back. Just cross it out in red. <laughs> cross it out Definitely. with a big. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, with that whiteout no. thing, right? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. The white outs, yeah. 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 So on this page, oh, I can draw. Yeah. There's something that is this bothering the other me. One. Uh oh, Pardon? she's getting out her stylus. I <laughs> am. Okay, look, wait. This one is that one. right. Wait, oh, go back. All right, all right. right there, that bothers me. Yikes. That's a lot, too. So out it's just that tiny little overlap. I think it, I don't know. I'm not sure if you need this one, but. It's just, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, the circles are more of a graphic element, not a part of the branding thing, right? The standards here, right? Mm -hmm. those Correct. circles maybe the circles could like i keep it on just the top part there where you have cafe my way mm. yeah and then it's distracting yeah. to all the other elements like you want to make sure there's yeah just like your logo you want a bounding box around those that nothing's interrupting them or it's really close to that dark color you know and yeah. it's like a dark on a dark like an 80 percent on a yeah. 100 or something then it's subtle mm -hmm. diane what was your term about the uh going to the edges Goalie. Soccer goalie. Yeah. yeah. Goalie. So like, again, like if you look at that far, that right page, get that content in, you want to make sure you got a really good margin, top, bottom, right, left. Okay. You know what I say about this? Mm -hmm. So do you want to put the gassy kid on the bus in the middle or next to the window? <laughs> you want to put some space over here, right? Put them I'm next to, so pull, pull, pull <laughs> these things over a bit. And I think, you know, maybe these things, I don't know, I, I, that's, I just don't want to trap air. And so white space yeah. is great, but you don't want to trap it. Just to be clear, this is a layout that scrolls, right? This isn't two different pages. Correct. Um, yeah, right? I, I cropped okay. it. It's one long. Okay, spot. gotcha. There you go. Cool. Cool. I think the all cap script is a little tough. Mm. I'm a, I think there's certain fonts and certain handwriting that works perfectly that way. Um, but like looking at your, so the glasses USA, is that a logo you did or is that the existing brand? That's their existing brand. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I think it's my, uh, about just matching their, I hate to say the pun personality a little bit better. It seems like a very <laughs> all American, like blah brand. And I, I appreciate you're trying to give it some life here. Um, I just wonder sometimes that, that script thing, do you do, do you do hand lettering as well? I don't, but I could try. Do it. Like I always yeah, say, like that's this is the perfect opportunity to have your signature on there. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if things are, you know, uh, uh, with your own signature. I'd rather see that than the the font choice of personality. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, you're, and I like uh, go ahead. You go. You're just showing a lot of solutions and, and the way you're thinking and throughout the whole thing, which I think is terrific. Go, Nick, back to you. Oh yeah, I love that you're trying to do something cool with the frames. 
that's mm-hmm. a, and she's making these cool patterns and everything, which is good. Um, mm-hmm. and, and to your point too, diversity in your pictures is fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. that non-binary kind of, you know, theme right now that we're all talking about with design is really cool. I love seeing that there. Um, I think some of the frames get a little washed out. I don't know if that's just the resolution or something, but, um, those frames are the most important thing in this, this offering, right? Get them, get the contrast a little yeah. bit better. Yeah. For sure. Same for your, your body copy. I think on that site, um, could be mm-hmm. a little bit easier to read. Um, you had a lot of, a lot of tracking. Yeah. Felt like a lot of tracking there. Yeah. Um, there, there are these really great, I don't know, what, what are you using to design those, uh, those, uh, website? Layers? I was using Photoshop for that. Okay. 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 If you're using XD or anything like that, um, you know, you can actually get these plugins that help with accessibility. Mm-hmm. And, and I, that's really where a lot of this is going now, um, in terms of design, uh, especially design for web, um, to be aware of, of accessibility and, um, changes in design mm-hmm. for that. So you, you, you just might want to tap into that a little bit. Cool. Okay. Cool. Was this a school project, the sugar shack? Yes, it was. Cool. I, I think you've got a, if, if I was to look at probably your discovery and your mood board and everything that inspired this, I I'm right on board with it. I think the execution needs a little help here. Um, I, I think I love this idea of the album with the suite. That's killer. Like mm-hmm. get that refined, get a, maybe even a beautiful, more scripted font or something. I don't know if the sugar shack font to me reflects the, the vibe you're going for here. This grooviness, this like, 70s 60s vibe um i'd love to see this one this could be one that i think you can really spin <laughs> again no pun intended with the albums uh, wow. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> really really nick so good <laughs> so sorry um I'm holding on that one <laughs> and then there's certain things that look heavily blurred and 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 um the contrast seems like like high and then you got deep colors like the balance i i want you to get this really because I, I think this could be a fun this whole idea of a vintage record store, like what a great project to do for a student project, 100%. And you also have some that have these black outlines and, and some don't. And I'm like, mm, just don't do the black out, like on the lady yeah. and the kid, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't eat it. Okay. Um, Megan, do you have any questions for the panel as we wind down? We have a couple minutes left. Um, I guess I'm curious, do you guys think, um, Cause I'm kind of a designer who likes to do everything from UX to motion to branding. Do you think it's okay to market yourself like that? Or should you pick some specialties? Yes. And tell us. Your, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you, your voice is going to be very important there. If you like to do a smattering of things as a designer, it is going to be so important that your voice is well-defined. And you just kind of try things you know you're just learning so just you're having fun doing it just it, you're going to adjust as you go but mm-hmm. i mean just be willing to try and like you already are so then just tell people that also tells me that you're uh, easy to learn and you're you have a teachable spirit and that you're going to be somebody who i could put on if i was on, if i needed somebody who was going to be able to learn things quickly so that also seems like you've been able to take it on and then move with it or it could be that you're bored easy but it doesn't seem like that to me yeah i appreciate it awesome thanks so much megan yeah thank you guys great job all right and keep that variety alive if that's what you want to do make sure we we know that i'd rather see someone spreading the word with their design with all of those different applications for sure yeah me too Ooh, heidi Next, uh, from the Indiana University in uh, Bloomington, Indiana University, Bloomington. Right. Did I get that right? We yeah. are welcoming Heidi Peng. How are you doing, Heidi? Good. Um, so I guess a little bit of background <laughs> on this. Um, I'm currently a freshman here. Whoa. Um, and this is the portfolio I submitted to apply to the um, Bachelor of Fine Arts program. At okay. oh, wow. Right. Way to go be ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay, not so supposed this to say that? Yeah, <laughs> PG thirteen, Diane. If they say it in the Avengers, Diana, you're fine. Diane, you're fine. Yeah, that's a cute Ooh, that's little cute. guy. Very cute. Yeah. 
So go back one for just a second. That, <laughs> yeah. that type on in your here? body text. Mm -hmm. So so just so you know, this is kind of a rule. Maybe my other VCU people will agree with me. So anything that is what is considered a modern style, which means it has extreme thick and thin, so like mm -hmm. Bodoni or Dito, yeah. um, it shouldn't probably use under 18 points. So okay. don't use it for body text because it's really difficult. Things fall apart. They kind of get um, too thin. So you haven't used that consistently, so that's good. I can't wait to see the rest. So just a little yep. tidbit. For Agreed. Everybody. Agreed, yes. So Heidi, you this is the application that you submitted for the uh, which which program? Uh, the Bachelor of Fine Arts program, BFA. specifically for graphic design. For graphic design. Oh, look how cute those oh my guys gosh. are! That is fantastic. Oh, oh I, you got to get that more focused. Uh, your illustration gets lost in all that. It's yeah. so awesome. Just yeah. tweaking the focus a little bit. That's so. I'd love to see that in 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 store like banners, like the stuff hanging from ceilings at Target. That's, oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Really nice. It's just your body, too much. Your, it's really good. Mm -hmm. your, your type is a little overbearing. Um, mm -hmm. it, there's, I think you're, you're using a probably type that is too large. You could probably push it down uh, quite a bit. Um, and when you squint, the, the, uh, the gray readings are quite dense, so that they're very dark. You, mm -hmm. you might you might need to um, not only make your type smaller, but uh, assess your letting as yeah. well. The letting here is really tight. And the letting is the space between the lines, just in case you don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, it looks like you might. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. I know, perfect yeah. slide. <laughs> That's great. That's a nice illustration also. Yeah, mm -hmm. up it up. There you go. It's it so would be nice to see these in a spread, right? Okay, yeah. I, mean, I was about to say it. it was, yeah. Uh, it's actually formatted as a hand-bound book. So when uh -huh. you see it in real life, it like- There we go. Yeah, yeah but this is Thank how you I'm for seeing that. it in real life, right? So you got to always do it for each audience. Yeah. 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 Thanks for having that available so quickly. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. But, Good recovery. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what Diana is saying is absolutely true. That was the thing that I was going to say is that, you know, is it possible to see these as spreads? because you're designing with that intent. Heidi, mm -hmm. have you ever had somebody said, oh, well, thanks for babysitting. Do you take PayPal? And you're like, what? Uh, I take cash, right? <laughs> like, or they're like, well, I'll do the cash app for you or I'll Venmo you. And you're like, I, I wanted a cat, uh, real dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of the, the same thing. I just want, you have done a great job for freshmen. Holy moly. Yeah. I yeah. don't know what your high school was like, but good job. <laughs> There's just too much on that page, on these yeah. pages, I think. Yeah. And this was your high school work. Is that right, Heidi? Mm -hmm. If I read yeah. it correctly? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks very full, which I think is very common mm -hmm. for people who haven't gone through a design program yet. So I think yeah. it looks amazing considering you haven't yeah. done this yet. And again, these could be the, oh, those are beautiful. That's yeah. really nice. Again, like look at all that space you have. Like, there you go. That's showing off your work. Yep. Like get these mm. things nice and big. Looks great. Your variety of the ability to use illustrations is really totally. nice. Yep. So fun. Such movement. Mm -hmm. Such movement. Oh, Heidi. Yes. <laughs> keep doing that. Yeah. Whatever music you're listening to, keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and send us that playlist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, Can't you got to wait to see next what you do next. Yeah. <clears throat> So I'm assuming you got accepted into the program? Um, I haven't heard back yet. We learn on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> we Please all have programs posted. you could come to if uh, that one doesn't work out for That's you. True. Please keep us posted. Email us and let us know because I'm really kind of like, yeah, it's good news. All right, so um, we have a few more minutes. Um, <laughs> any final words for, uh, for Heidi? Or Heidi, do you have any questions for the panel? Um, I guess when I was showing this to other people, um, like especially on my very first piece, um, they asked me like how I decided the order of how to present my work. So do you guys have any tips on like what to choose to like place where, like which works to place um, more importantly? It does feel very full. Mm -hmm. I think Mitch said the same. Yeah. Have, yeah. It, mean, it maybe so could be tailored down. 
I, I think for me, the order thing, I know people say you do the best and the, the best at the front and the end, and then really good in the middle and then lesser stuff in between. Mm -hmm. I always just try to, I don't really believe in that. I just believe in contrast. So if I have a really bright project, then the next project maybe it'll be something that's a little more monochrome if I have that. Just so they separate out as you look through them and they don't kind of run into each other. But again, I don't think there's really any hard edges on that. I think it's all kind of an opinion. Awesome. Yeah. That's a good question. Thank you. And um, just as a segue, since she did show us the book, what are your, um, the panel's opinions about, do we even need uh, physical books anymore? I know a lot of people are still kind of like, um, in our school, we do all three, website, PDF and uh, well, not this semester, but usually a physical book. Um, what are your opinions on that uh, the whole thing? I mean, absolutely. I think because absolutely. Some people, yeah. some people will be old like me and they want to see that you can cut things out and that you know how things work when it looks, you know, when it's printed and sometimes you can hide things really mm -hmm. easy in a PDF or on a website, right? Yep. Yep. All then, yeah, I think if, Yep. What if I call you and say, okay, I want you to come in and talk to me. We're just going to sit in front of a laptop and page through a PDF. Mm -hmm. I'd rather see I think, stuff. <laughs> I think a lot of students would say, yeah, isn't that what yeah. we're going to do? Yeah. And, and no, no. no. <laughs> I think honestly, the best portfolio is a box full of all the crap you've made. That's it. That's interesting. Not down, not a book. Just here's, I did these things and I did. I'm this with you, stuff. Mitch. And that's it. It's a pile <laughs> of stuff. Awesome. Thank you, Heidi. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah, nice job. Good job. All right. Um, next from Harding, Harding University in CRC, Arkansas. He's been very patient. I think he's, he was the first person this morning to log in <laughs> just to make sure that everybody is, uh, that his uh, link works, I assume. Uh, let's welcome Colin Smith. Colin, can welcome. you go ahead and unmute yourself? Colin. Way to go, Colin. Colin. How you doing, Colin? I'm pretty great. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. What year are you? I am a junior at Harding right now. Nice. Do you want to stay in Arkansas or do you want to move? Um, I enjoy it here in Arkansas, but I'm really wanting to go someplace where there's some more big cities where I could get involved. <laughs> in gotcha. Company. Gotcha. So, so great. Colin, what do you want to do? It seems like this portfolio is very illustration centered as opposed to uh, layout design. What do you want to do? It is. Um, right now I am studying graphic design, but I am wanting to be an illustrator. And currently I'm looking to see how I can apply my illustrations better to more graphic design focused things. I think right there is your solution. These book covers have, I love that Invisible Man one where mm -hmm. it's, it's a combination of good design and good graphics with your incorporated into your illustration just be really really nicely and, and very innovatively so how do we I feel think, about the all the design work on here and then his drawings around them mm -hmm. how, how do you guys feel about that if it was more focused if i saw one cover and then there was maybe a few of those as tangible it just could be it could be distracting maybe you just have that on your process page prior to this and showing. i don't know how they connect yeah right Oh, they're not that. even the right. Yeah, I see what you're saying. They're yeah. very different too. And, okay. and there's yeah. like really cool book covers and they're tiny. Yeah. I want to exactly. see them big or bigger. Mm -hmm. So to this is to Victor and to Mina, who are both illustrators, really, mm -hmm. you know, really good illustrators. They work in the industry. How do you feel like having design as part of your package? Um, how How is that able to get you further or get more jobs or were you, what did that help at all? I think, I think for me, when they saw that I was able to do handle both things well, it was one more thing in my toolbox that somebody else might have not had. So it's only ever helped me um, Same. in my career, yeah. I also yeah. think, so sometimes people will say, oh, well, you can illustrate, but somebody else will have to lay out the book. And then if you can do both, then you get both of that money, right? So it's just yeah. like a musician who writes their own music and they sing it. Now they're going to get the royalty for for both so yes it's, right. it's a good yeah. it's a good tool so utilize that tool a little bit more yeah and it's it's you're using it really nicely here mm -hmm. you, you mm -hmm. really are um i think that y you might be a little like me where my understanding of type helped my illustration work 
Agreed. Ah, uh, yeah. These are so fun. I'd just like to see some of these applied. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have like this could be a poster for a band or. Especially if your if your portfolio is meant to go both design and illustration, you want to make sure that there's some sort of kind of like like you're doing here with the illustrations on your book right. covers. Like there's there's some sort of like balance between the two. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of a synthesis. Yeah, would be helpful. I agree. And I appreciate the fact that you don't you don't necessarily stick to one style of illustration, but you might <laughs> want to push toward one edge or the other. And uh, I see, I, I, you know, this is a prime example, but then you look at the ones um, with the, okay, that, this is, mm -hmm. these are two very different styles. What are you using, by the way, to create these? Um, I use a few different uh, soft pieces of software. I use um, Photoshop and some of a bit of Krita. Okay, okay. So one of the, one of the things when you go again, think about a series. So this is a series. Um, think about like the dragon guy. If you could have four more characters or like the dog in the beginning, it's just the same dog in the same angle. So do another character that would go along in that same style. So I can again, mm -hmm. see that you're not just a one hit. I can just draw this dog in this. So the oh, other yeah. thing I think what Mina's saying is it, if you look at her style, people know what they're going to get because they see what she can do and she's done mm -hmm. it over and over and over and it looks Every different, day. right? <laughs> but it's so, they, it builds trust. So with illustration, sometimes it's like, okay, you did this one, this one is awesome, but can you do it, can, if, can you do another scene or another 500 scenes in that same <laughs> yeah. sort of style? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and one and thing, I, I'll, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, and I, I understand where uh, you're starting out as an illustrator and you're in school still and you're thinking, okay, I, I need to get the job. So I need to be all the different types of illustrator. But um, at the end of the day, if, if you do and can build that trust with your audience, what will wind up happening is that those jobs will start to come to you. It'll take some time, but they will start to come to you. Yeah. Yeah. What, what advice do you guys have for him? I'm so out of the illustration thing, but you had a great point where he had all these different vibes. Is there one or two here you feel like this, to, that one, uh, go back one you just had so good. That, that to me, like you take those characters out and just have them on beautiful back. Like there, that's just killer. What, what, how do so you, good. how do you help him decide what his strength is, his strengths are? I think it's good to be versatile in style. Yeah. Um, my, my Chuck Abraham, my old teacher, who's not my boss, uh, would tell me that in if you're in New York, you can be the illustrator that just draws one thing. If somebody needs a pig guy to draw pigs, you can be that because it's like the the way the market sure, is. Sure. But from Orlando or whatever, we have to be able to be versatile. We have to be able to get. So sure. I think it's a good thing to have versatility. But I I think I'd like to see more, as opposed to just like one piece per style. And the other thing I would add is that a lot of these are just character based. And very mm -hmm. few of them have a, have a character actually living in some sort of environment, environment. Some, sort of yes. on, some sort of doing something, Good point. even interacting with more pe more characters. So I know a lot of us want to go to Disney and just be the, the person, the artist who just wants, who just designs the characters or Pixar or whatever. But the truth of the matter is all those people that do that are very well versed in all sorts of aspects. So you have to be able to show that you can handle the environment, the perspective, the, the way that one character relates to the other and that they're both kind of like in the same, they live in the same world. So that was a one great yeah. point, Victor. Thank you. <laughs> All right, any final questions for, for the panel uh, that you might have, Colin? Um, just uh, since you showed a lot of interest in my book cover designs, would you say that perhaps book illustration is a area I could focus on for applying my illustrative skills? Well, book illustration is different than the book cover design work. So mm. those, those can be seen as, as different parts of the field. But I wouldn't limit myself at this point. Just like a good design, I think good illustration will transfer anywhere that's appropriate. So if you have strong work, they can kind of see, I was like, all right, this will work for my book. And this also would work for my, you know, whatever other yeah. my packaging project or whatever. I think it's so, too soon to specify an artifact. 
Hmm. You don't need to know that yet. Great job, and you look super professional. Look at you in your button down shirt. I know, man. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah get, let's give them props for that. And you've been busy. Yes. Dude. This, this is a lot of, you got a lot of work here, man. This is a lot, we, I know, this yes. is, that takes time. And I, and I applaud you on that. I don't I illustrate, and I love, I always love seeing great illustrations in the making. No Thank upper you. caps, no all caps with that font, by the way. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> Thank you so Have much, Paul. Yeah, yeah, good job, Give man. Give a round of applause. All right, we're running a little bit behind too. So um, next up, um, we have from uh, Madison Area Techno Technical College. Uh, so the last two are going to be from the same school. We're going to welcome Sarah Shoemaker or Shoemaker? Shoemaker. Shoemaker. Awesome. Thanks, Sarah. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. There she is. All righty. What year are you, Sarah? I'm graduating, coming up in a few weeks. Awesome, congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. Can we assume that you and Megan and David all know each other? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Just out of good. curiosity, how did we get so many people from one school? Um, one of our instructors sent out an email to everybody that's in the oh. portfolio class this oh, year. Oh, good. Good, stuff, good so. for them. Please, please uh, pass along a thank you to your instructor. Yeah, that's, yep. that's amazing that your ki you guys open our, the, our emails, right? I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> you're, you're totally totally <laughs> oh i love this cool so you get you're obviously into ui ux you're getting yep. this perfect cool where do you want to go um well i'm kind of settled here in madison my husband and i live here so i think we're going to stay here um but there's a lot of agencies around here that are doing a lot of ux ui work so mm -hmm. that's kind of what great. i'm interested cool. in cool cool great i think okay. when you got to this next slide here keep going here, we're, uh, one more back. I'm sorry. Yeah, was this w was this exploration? Because it feels like like I, the one. I think the front, your line spacing got to tighten that up a little bit. Getting things away from the edge, just yeah. that spacing a little bit, showing the the care there. Yeah. And then the next slide, it looks like there were a few differences. So like, was this you just trying different fonts and different layouts? Yep. So this is gotcha. was supposed to be like people would take pictures of the blank screens and then write their own reasons why they eat Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And so uh, these okay. are just supposed to look different, like people cool. submitted them. Okay, gotcha. I see what you're saying. So it okay. seems like this one, and very similar to the, uh, I saw that you also had like the Instagram campaign that Megan, I think, had with the, with the whiteout, correct? Yep. These are more kind of like thoughtful campaigns, agency kind of stuff, agency geared stuff, would that be correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Good, okay. Can you stop here for just a second? Sure. So the space around login, right? And then you have space around submit. So there's with UX, UI, when I teach web design uh, or app design, you, it's like there's a standard, there's kind of a standard size for your button or a stand. So the type doesn't necessarily change sizes, but also the spacing around the button shouldn't change as well. So okay. you have three different spacing around your type here. Submit is really the tightest, login is the loosest, and create account seems fine. Um, this may be where that a button being a circle might not be the best solution. Um, just you, you just have some trouble with your edges. Like even the A and W root beer, there's nothing. There's no space below it, right? Yep. And circles are just difficult. Like I like it in pit stop, but maybe that's how pit stop stands out. It's yeah. that it's the circle. Okay. I would be kind of a little concerned about this stuff down there for me. Um, just sort of dead center, big list of stuff. It has kind of like bullets or something next to it. It just seems a little bit awkward. And I wonder if it could all just be more oh, like kind sure. of. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh, I got one more thing on this page that's since we're. I, yeah. I've been known to be wrong, but that's kind of. <laughs> look, yeah. look at this and look at this. So I know how InDesign works, right? You have to do a hard return or soft oh. return, but these oh, are yeah, inconsistent, right? right? Mm -hmm. But this is way too tight too. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, your, your coloring in this design, uh, I think you've got some great contrast in, in a lot of these areas, um, which is helpful. I, I, would, I would consider changing some colors around. Um, because your circles for the login and create account are the same size, they are also the same color. You've got somebody who's going to be very quickly um, thumbing through because I'm, you know, I'm assuming they're hungry. That it, you know, they want to be, maybe they're hangry and they, they're like not paying attention. Sure. Um, 
you want them to click on the, the correct one for them. Um, so you might want to reconsider either the size or the color of, of those two buttons if, if you're going to keep the circles. Mm -hmm. Also, I think as you went through most of them, uh, resolution looked, a l I don't know if it's just the PDF you probably uh, uploaded and maybe it got a little bit reduced, but there's some, there's a lot of pixelation on some of the stuff, at least on my, on my end. Um, yeah. I wanted just make sure. That. Yeah. I picked an interactive PDF because there's a couple videos. Oh, gotcha. I yeah. <laughs> gonna work, but I think that kind of. Cool. Great personas. Yeah. Great mm -hmm. personas. Love seeing these journeys. Uh, this is, this is a really great slide. And, and this is what your interest is in. Yep. This is great. You might want to actually expand this particular part of your portfolio. And do you have any um, case studies or any information on any uh, competing brands? Don't. Um, okay. You just want to have that, that research as well in there. Just to say, you know, you've, you've done that research. And just, I just have seen on white people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't work on that. Diversity. There, um, Envato has an amazing subscription plan. <laughs> it's like uh, $200 a year and you can use everything for whatever. And they have Asians, Hispanics, they have Black people, they have every kind of people. It's just a terrific uh, app place to get not white people. Okay. I don't know on this stuff. I don't know if I kind of want to see the chrome of like the phone around it or not. Mm. Does anybody feel have an opinion on that? To me, it feels like it's just kind of floating in space. Oh, just framing uh, it. I want to see like the phone, the phone kind yeah. of material. Yeah. I think it just kind of solidifies mm -hmm. it a little bit. Okay. And yeah. those are easy to find online. Yeah. Definitely. And I think on my website, I do have that. I was just throwing Great. this together real quick. Cool. And do you have any questions? Um, just trying to think. Um, I guess this isn't really related to anything, but I'm happy, <laughs> like digital stuff. I really like, you know, watercolor and printmaking. Do you guys have any suggestions for artists that are good at combining those kind of two worlds, like digital mm. and handmade things? Put it in. Yeah, put it in. But it shows, are you talking how, about how a specific she, artist? But how, or how does she blend it? How, is that what well, your question is? How do you blend yeah, that in with all this know, digital? Yeah, do you know people that are doing things like that that you'd recommend looking at to get inspiration? Lisa Glantz does really good. She used to work all completely analog. She still does some things. Uh, she's in South Africa and she is in the Honest Designers podcast. Um, she does a lot of digital stuff now. Um, so she's really kind of transitioned over, but she still does a lot of um, analog stuff and makes it, so that would be somebody to look cool. at. Okay. Yeah, and if any of you guys who are listening in want to put them in the chat, uh, Ryan Pesha said Ashley Taylor, who's a colleague of mine at UCF, does a lot of printmaking and, and graphic design. Um, so if you guys have any other ideas, you can add it to the cool. chat. Mm -hmm. uh, Laura Sant is a Richmond based, Richmond, Virginia based artist. Uh, she works uh, with Saver Magazine and she does a lot of uh, watercolor work and she's a designer. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Sarah, good luck. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sarah. And um, the last one that we have going on today, last but not least, I'd like to welcome David Cox, also from the same school, Madison Area Technical College. Um, that is not your portfolio. This is yeah. <laughs> Give it up um, for this school. I'm so glad yeah. it's three of you guys. Wow. Yeah. Very impressive. So, David, Very. are you on with us? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Hey, David. Hey. Thank you, David. How are you? Good. 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 David, who was the uh, instructor that uh, got all three of you on? I, I'd love a shout out to them. Uh, his name is Jarrell Dre. All right, uh, Jarrell. He, he, he personally, yeah, he's the best instructor I've ever had. So if he's awesome. watching, I know he is. Is he watching? <laughs> is he on somehow? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> hey, Jarrell. Wow. That's a great name. I'm a Superman fan. I know. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, I'm not a dad, Superman. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, we definitely got to uh, we got to hook up with him. That's that's Ooh, fantastic. Yeah. He looks Thank a little you. bit. He looks a little bit more like Lex Luthor, though. So. Ooh. <laughs> 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 on that note, <laughs> oh, that's great, man. What 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 are you uh, hoping to do here and be? Uh, I'm curious. I uh, I, I went back and I'm kind of just kind of piecemealing some classes together. Um, I had Jarrell for motion design because I, I had some weak spots. Um, so I'm kind of just kind of taking a few classes here and there. Um, 
Great. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to have like a more well-rounded portfolio. Uh, Great. I want print stuff, digital, motion design, web design, apps, everything I can get my hands on. I want to show gotcha. I can kind of do everything. This stuff looks fantastic. Did you make that thing around the four? Thing around the four? Uh, I believe that is from a stock image and I just modified it a little bit. Okay, cool. But uh, uh, yeah, really I, did, I designed the logo, um, a lot of Photoshop work. A this lot is of... a nice piece. Well, this is you. great. Oh. Is this, what's the, uh, this is a hotel concept, right? Yeah, the uh, concept is to kind of get people to explore the different uh, things that the hotel has to offer. So nice. instead of just staying there, you can go to the bar, you see the show at their venue, um, you know, different ways to get them to engage with the hotel. Nice. A little bit better, so. That's great. And this is a new one. This is Land's Inn giving them a, a website kind of refresh. Right. Uh, I kind of yeah. took them away from that nautical theme that they went with and rolled more towards like the outdoorsy nautical kind of more like what like L.L. Bean does. And mm -hmm. Yes. Summer. It's really nice. Yes. And you do a very good job of this. Yeah. This I editorial agree. work is really nice. It looks completely you should, legit. Mm -hmm. You yes. should pitch this to them. <laughs> I did, why not? Right. Yeah. yeah we'll go really back. Right we'll send them a link to this. Yeah. Thank you. Is that your hand lettering? Uh, no, that is a font. Okay, cool. But see, I people are going to ask that question. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just yeah, if we totally. ask about the illustration, yeah. Good. So nice. what, do you, what do you think about that, Mina? Oh, uh, about the hand lettering? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Nick put it really well earlier. Um, if there's a part of a project that can allow you to put your signature in there, use it. Gotcha. Yep. Use mm -hmm. it because you're going to get asked that question. Yeah. And, and it would be really nice if you could say yes. Yeah. But you know you don't have to, but it would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Your color palettes are really nice. Mm -hmm. You have a really nice use of color, so I think that that's. Um, and they're and they're re, and they're be, uh, related to the project you're doing, which is like the first one was so uh, aged and vintage, and then you got a contemporary, vivid palette here, which is so different. Well, I like that. I kind of wanted to go with more of like this modern, like I think they call it vaporwave. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it has like a really cool, like, um, uh, like retro. It's it's still retro, but it made a full comeback, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and well, I will point out that he has other pieces, but they're animations here, and I'm afraid to click. Oh, them. no problem. Okay. So, um, at some point, I can Ooh. share these portfolios with the reviewers so they can see. Ooh. That's a lot of copy. <laughs> Is that a yeah, that's that your wall? Cool. That's a wall mural. Uh, yeah, it's a wall graphic. They're all uh, quotes. Famous quotes okay. by famous people. Muhammad Ali. Oh, Inspirational Jack, quotes. Jack Lane. I love it. This is great. Yeah. Sweet. So Doc Reed's going to be on later on the canceled con, and he has a a coke like you can a pop t uh, pin. You might want to do go to his site and download how to make that pin, and then try your own lettering with it. Got it. Oh, cool. uh, a yeah. brush. Like a yeah, it's soda pop pin. Can you go back one slide real quick? I'm sorry. That this is killer. Like that sings the brand a hundred percent. In really, see, like you didn't just logo slap. There it is yeah. again. Yeah. You threw in uh, the the fix the Fisk logo, the unleashed the big thing, the graphic, uh, cropping it uniquely and different. Really neat. I like that a lot. Thank and you. the interior of the handles on that mm -hmm. bag. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that was, dude. That's, that that's is called, the attention to detail. Yeah. That's called that frosting. Say. That's called frosting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it is nice really work, nice. Dave. Yeah, keep going. Man. Thanks that's, for the close-up of that logo, too. That was good. Yeah. But it's not a slap on the thing, right? You actually yeah. did something neat with the icon. Yes, yes. Oh, on this is kind of cool. These That's are the kind of things neat. that really interest me because it shows oh. like your ideas, it shows your thinking. Like it's not just the design, it's like how you, I'm assuming this is your idea about yes. putting the Instagram page inside a typewriter. Oh, it's right. Very cool. Very cool, man. <laughs> Thanks for showing me something I've never seen before. I, I know, I know. Didn't know yeah. that that was possible at my age. <laughs> well, it's, it's out there now, so if you see it again. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we know where it started, yeah. right, Dave? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, again, I would say there's like a sophistication to this work that's really mm -hmm. awesome to see. Yeah. There's a cinematography, like there's a cinematic thing happening, yeah. not just in this one, very clearly in this one, but 
throughout all of your work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like even on those. Yeah. Oh, you go ahead. No, I guess I kind of never really realized how much I gravitated more towards like a retro aesthetic. Yeah. Until I, you, know, you toggle through it. But I mean, I think there's, it shows that you can do it in a lot of different ways. Yes. And still, and still have it kind of be modern, you know. I think Good. we're we're influenced with that here in Madison because a lot of oh, our different beautiful, a lot of our different agencies and, and and work that comes out of them tends to lean that way. So yeah. Damn. This looks great, dude. That looks yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Go back. Go, yeah. Go back. Yeah. This is. I think um, getting a premium level kind of um, uh, spirit like this is obviously if that's what you want to get into. For sure, I know a lot of students want to get into this kind of world of yeah. distilleries and stuff. Mm -hmm. So great, like expand on this too, man. Show me like what the 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 how this would look on shelf, maybe in in yeah. store stuff to kind of help promote it. Because best thing about a project like this is you have all the assets done. Now you take mm -hmm. it and build more case studies with all of your typography, all of your illustrations, and everything else. Um, right. Did you did you, how'd you was this a purchased um, mock-up or did you do this in some other way? This particular right here was a purchase mock-up. I think it right. was in, in Vato. Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. In Vato and yellow images. I mean, it's worth the money for sure. It, is. Um, it makes for such a thing. And then again, show, show me this on a bottle close up. I want to see how you handled the vodka right over that, you know, that, that aged kind of um, building in the back. I believe on my website, I have that, but uh, great. Yeah. Great. It expands upon it a little bit. Good, man. My website. And it looks really like of a place. Like it looks like Madison. Like if it just had some cheese curds sprinkled around, <laughs> it'd be done. You know, it looks really hot. Yeah. I might move the heartbeat of Wisconsin down because it seems a little tight to the right. Mm -hmm. um, and it, so then there's a little bit more. So whenever you think about something that's expensive, it has lots of white space around. You know, you never go into a mansion. It's like, tons of boxes you have to walk through one yeah. one person at a time so just you have this great gray space underneath you know where i'm talking about if you yes. just move it down i think mm, that would really yeah. help that <clears throat> okay great. cool this looks well, thank you, I, like David. Questions I like for, yeah uh, your layout and everything looks great or for the uh, i guess um i mean what what keeps you guys engaged in 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 design uh after all these years i know it's sometimes inspiration especially in times like this can it can community. be hard support of community more than ever now right yep. but it's also the ability that we can solve problems for our clients that they yeah. don't think like we think so you know what i have you know it's like uh they're you know teaching yoga in a studio and now they're like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna have to close our doors. Hey, you know what? We know about these things, Zoom or Vimeo on demand. Let's put some stuff there. And it's like, for me, it's the ability to get a small business to stay in business. Yeah. Man, that is powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I think like that this is a perfect example. Yesterday for free for all my clients, I made them virtual backgrounds for Zoom meetings to send to their customers. Like, and like, especially for breweries and, and places that are really being hit right now. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden people are doing free advertising for them. And it's like, this came out of us doing all these, these yeah. Zoom meetings. That's what keeps me alive, man, for sure. Yeah, I think for me, it's like making stuff almost always feels better than not making stuff. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is a fact. That is yeah. why I have a daily practice. Yeah. That is a fact. I mean, Dave. I lost my passion for years because I was, you know, um, I, w I was basically like a glorified production artist. So, oh yeah, this for me is like getting my 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 groove back. So good, dude. I'm you, glad to hear that. It's showing. You're in the right place. Absolutely you're doing the right thing right yeah. now. David, First, David, share your uh, Instagram handle if you don't mind, please. man. Uh, it's yeah. David Cox Designs. Perfect. And you know, the one of the things yeah. is your first job really. I know that you've already had a first job, but your first job <laughs> should only last for a year. When you stop learning, when you stop growing, it's time to move on. And hopefully, you know, either your boss will continue to um, engage you and challenge you um, by learning business or whatever, but sometimes it has to do with confidence. So don't let somebody else, what they said about you, determine who you are. Michael Janda is a great example of this. He was working at like a copy shop right? Because he couldn't get a job anywhere else. He did that for a year. And then, and then he ended up Disney and uh, Fox and a whole bunch of other people were his clients, right? He had a great, uh, a great company that he ended up selling and now he's coaching creatives, right? 
Awesome. Nice. Well, thank you so much. Thank Thanks. Thank you. Good job, I appreciate it. Good job, dude. Thanks. All right, guys. So that is the last one of, of the day. Woo! Yep. Um, just as uh, before we, we break, just a couple of announcements. Actually, just let's uh, hear from the panel. The panel will be back tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern um, for another couple hours for another 13 more students, uh, brave souls who have uh, uh, sent us their work. But I wanted to kind of like finish off and I, might, I can't promise that I won't ask the same questions again in case somebody just reads one or watches one, uh, one video. But I want to ask you a couple of things about the overall general consensus of, do we still have time? Do you guys still have time? Yeah, yeah I, okay. totally. Okay, cool. Um, one of the things is that we were just talking about mock-ups. We're talking about Dave, David's mock-ups and things like that. And we've seen a lot of people, especially right now that we can't do like physical pieces. Um, a lot of students are using visual mock-ups and a lot of companies, agencies use digital mock-ups. What makes a good mock-up in your opinion and what should people stay away from as far as, as, far as mock-ups? So David, um, with yeah. that a bottle mock-up, it looked like, um, what was it, Madison? It looked yeah. like Madison. Um, so what should we look for when we do those mock-ups? You, you got to remember, it's like a puzzle piece. You have your, your space of the mock-up and the art you're bringing over to it. And the, the nuances of how you make that fit and work for it uh, are really key. Because what happens is we start to see, uh, it's like taking a bad shape and bringing your logo into it without doing any kind of manipulation to fit. So make sure they're fitting really, really well and they're appropriate to it. The flip side to that is by using things like Adobe Dimension and other ones, you can customize the perspective, the angle, um, and the zoom to look different from all the other ones that people yeah. are getting on the free sites. So when I see someone show me something and I have to ask, that tells me they did a great job. So that's my tip. Awesome. Anyone else want to chime in on that or add to it or? No logo slapping. No logo <laughs> slapping. Cut it out. All right. Hard agree. Yeah, he got it. Thank you. Um, one of the things that we also talked about is illustrations. And recently somebody asked me in my class if, um, I think we, a lot of us um, know of pa Pablo Stanley. I think he's on the roster at some point this mm -hmm. weekend. He made a series of illustrations available for anyone license free to be using in their work. And one of the students asked me if they could use it in her final word. And I said, no. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because when you have, it might be something that you can use, you can do in real life, if, you know, if, if based on the licensing, just like stock illustration, but there's something about illustration that people are going to assume that you made in your portfolio that isn't necessarily the case with photography. Um, so how do you guys feel about that? I see some of you guys nodding and what do you guys feel about like the, the case for illustration in, in, in the designer's portfolio? Mm. I think you have to do it. You, you can't, um, it's in my syllabus. You cannot, if it's, it's a cheat then, right? Because you're, it is, we assume you did it. And I'm hiring you thinking you can do this. And now you're just telling me you got it on iStock photo or something. I'm like, I can, I can, I can buy something, you know? So I think that that's a really, it's a way for you to stand out. So if you are not an illustrator, then, you know, you utilize other things, but I think it could push people. But I do assume that you did that illustration. Okay. In the same vein, how do you feel about UI kits? Yeah. yeah. It's so true, right? There's a link there. Yeah, and so and so I think that we really do need to push our students to be creating uh, with optimal readability and legibility in mind with the UI kits. And we need to be able to, if they want to do illustration, then they need to do the illustration. That's if it's going to be showing. I think we saw uh, a portfolio today where we asked about the type. You know, is that, mm -hmm. is that type that you designed? Because that's the question that's going to be thought at least or said. And if the answer is no, it is questionable as to why it's in your portfolio. The moment that question pops into a hiring manager or creative director or art director's mind, that's the moment you might be on the chopping block. You don't want that distrust to even eke in for a second. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, Steve Carcella from Disney's Yellow Shoes uh, was in our student portfolio review at UCF the other day. And um, he mentioned that um, his bar of illustration is like really, really high. You know, it's Disney. So you also have to make sure that if you're an illustrator, you're kind of like doing that whole design and illustration stuff. 
and you um, and you put an illustration in, it either has to um, stand out because it's so good or just get out of the way because bad yeah. illustrations will also stand out and would actually bring down a good design. So that was just taken. Um, uh, for a lot of our classes, we, we and Chad, my colleague is here too, he's, uh, um, we tell him it's like, the, especially the early semesters, you can't do illustration because we don't want to get in the weeds of talking about illustration issues when we're, so, we're meant to be talking about design and type and all those other so it's like different mm -hmm. things. But a lot of students are, uh, want to be illustrators, so I, I want to make sure that we ask that question. Um, overall comments or overall kind of like consensus as to what the, uh, how today went, some of the, the things that you saw that, um, that uh, you felt was, was really strong overall or generally speaking that a lot of people have to work on? Got it. So it's, it's a, it, those in the weeds things that I think that are the ones like when we got, when we saw someone that had some really good strength in their portfolio, we went right to the details. Yeah. And that's, that's, I think where I'd love to see most students at right now. If it's a broader kind of conversation and you got to talk a little bit broader about them, they should be maybe a year out from graduating. Right. Um, and then it's good to talk kind of overall blue sky, what, how to, how to start changing the direction. I loved seeing, um, stuff very similar to what my students are doing, but then I also was really envious of seeing stuff that my students aren't doing. Uh, so this was, if anything's coming out of this whole time right now is the fact that we are sharing as educators so much information that we should have been doing for years, um, right? And it's like, how many did you see? And you went, gosh, I'm showing that one right to my students tomorrow. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that was awesome. So uh, it's the sharing thing here. This is fantastic. So I will put in a plug for that, for the uh, design teaching resource on mm -hmm. educators, the, the DEC, the design educators community, um, educators.aiga.org. Um, we do try to do that, but we need more projects in the design teaching resource. So yeah. Putting that out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you, I'm, I'm curious, since we're all here, how often do you guys bring in new projects to your, your courses? Every semester. Yeah, Good. Yeah. 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 I think we try to course correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And it, I know how tough it is, especially for the full timers. I'm part time and I know how hard it is, yeah. but for a full timer, I know how that's crazy hard. Um, so I switched even after COVID like the last project was something else. Now we're doing a give blood poster. Like, oh, see, perfect example. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the times, yeah, that can make it a shift, which is really, really good too. I'm always a fan of like, if there's something new and, and emerging in the community or I see online somewhere, I, uh, like we did last semester, I saw subscription boxes becoming the biggest thing in the world, right? They're all over the place. So that became a, a course, uh, a, I'm sorry, a, um, a project, project where they had to come up with the entire idea, the name, the branding, and then execute all the packaging for it. So like it's finding those things that are hot and, and like in now to turn them into projects. I think um, for me in terms of what maybe was a problem in what we saw today was pretty much anything that wasn't working was typographic. Yeah. Like for the most part, the thing where students dropped the ball was typography. You have got to have your type on point. End of conversation. There's no debate Amen. about that. It yeah. must the, happen. It is well, like graphic design secret handshake. <laughs> Right? Yeah, and it's, it's pathetic and stupid, and it's just that's the way it is. So, but what about, you a job. Well, It'll what get you about, a job. What about, Mitch, if somebody didn't have, they maybe only had one type class and the, it wasn't really strong. So what could somebody do on their own? There are things people could do. Right. What would you suggest? I mean, I think that, you know, the first answer is always like, I'll go to YouTube, but I'm not so sure I agree with that. I think it's very questionable what you're going to get there. Um, I think that there are sort of resources in terms of books that most libraries have. Um, these days, I think you can find um, sort of workshops that people are facilitating. A, a, I know it's money, but like a $20 Skillshare membership is going to be sort of vetted in a way that a YouTube channel may not be. Yeah. Um, if you have the ability to go do an actual workshop, like at, you know, Cooper type in New York or something, I mean, that is invaluable and highly recommended. Um, and honestly, just practicing. And, and I think we're all so connected now that that doing a, a whatever, a letter a day thing, or just yeah, whatever, to put it out there. But I think you just, you have got to be on top of type. You, yes. you just can't not do it. Let's make it, let's make it some pact that we're going to figure out that, that solution because yeah. 
You're so right. It's yeah. right. Go ahead, Diane. So can I share, I have a link for two free months of Skillshare. Can I put that in the chat? Oh yes. Absolutely. We, yeah. That's Same awesome. here. That's, yeah. that's fantastic. A and nice. Everybody get that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, that, it's like. <laughs> that's for anybody? Anybody can do it? For anybody. Anybody okay. can do it. Yep. yep. I would also point out that at least in my, my school and also the counties, the two counties that kind of make up um, the area that we live in, Orange and Seminole, are library systems. And UCF offers LinkedIn Learning, which used to be lynda.com for yep. Right. And there's a lot of great uh, videos in there from Sean Adams to Von Glitchka. Yeah. And, Sean and if you Adams. have a public library card, you probably have LinkedIn Learning for free. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. is correct. Yes. So that's something Same that. here in Columbia. Pretty much and I, yeah. I would say that Chris Doe with the future, he um, he does some really good type um, critiques <laughs> online. So at least if you would watch some of those, I think if you did, he's yeah. he will tell you like it is. And he has he's also an educator and he's taught at the university level. So he does know what he's talking about. So I would say that would be one YouTube where you're going to get some good information that's okay. free. Awesome. Well, thank you all. Um, yeah. One last, uh, one last thing, a few uh, announcements uh, tonight, I believe it's five, five thirty or so like East uh, Pacific time, eight thirty or so Eastern time. I'll actually be talking with uh, Andrew on the screen about how, how this went. Uh, you, we might show some of the work that we saw today. Tomorrow morning, again, we're back here at 10 a.m. Pacific time, um, 1 p.m. Eastern time for 13 more students. I also want to point out that this is not the, the end of CancelCon for the day. We have a slew of great speakers. Um, I think, uh, what time is it over there? What time is it in, uh, with you for you? 1230 right now over there? 1230, so we have Ben Stafford coming up. We have Armin Vitt from Under Consideration after him then Jeremy Slagle, then the uh, um, Hutzpah Design, Amy Miller, uh, Mitch at 3.30 with his fire, uh, fireside chats. Did I yep. get that? Uh, Gus Martin at four o'clock, Matt Dawson, Meg Lewis, Lenny Terenzi, well, uh, Mike Jones, <laughs> Kelly and Jordan Ayotti, Ayotti? I'm not sure if I got that right. Um, Fresh Fry Brandon, then Pablo Stanley. And then all that is followed up by a virtual uh, dance party. Uh, so make sure that you uh, tune in for that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm hoping I'm supposed to answer, announce that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that was announced. I think you're legit. It's all good. It's yeah, Andrew. It's, it's right? Andrew. Of course, I there's going to be a dance party yeah. and glitter and, and sequins. Um, but I will point out that in, um, we will also have some giveaways strictly only for the students that, that participated in today's uh, portfolio reviews. Today and tomorrow's portfolio review. So make sure that you keep out for that. And just one last uh, word of advice. For the most part, the reason that a lot of you uh, um, made it, if not all of you made it today, is because you read an email and followed instructions and sent a PDF and not a link. So it's those little details that I might add for you. Make sure that you read those little details because unfortunately there's a lot of great work that we got, but since it wasn't a PDF format, we weren't able to accept it. So it's just make sure that you read the fine print um, and then yep. emails to anything that you do. All right. So once again, I'd like to uh, thank Nick Longo, uh, Mitch Goldstein, Mina Khalili, and Diane Gibbs for joining us today. My name is Victor Davila. Give it up for Victor. Let's Great give it up for Dick, everybody. Hey. I look forward to you guys uh, to seeing you all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the... Uh,